Welcome to New York City. We are here, I just got out of, uh, got off the train and into Penn Station. We're up now in the Moynihan train hole. This is kind of a newer extension. This has been around, I think, for a few years, but new to me since I moved to Florida in four years. I think I've seen this twice since I've been back. But I thought it was a good place to start because it really, they have made it very pretty. Look at this backdrop behind me. I mean, Penn Station used to be gritty, you know? It's like New York. But also, I just love live entertainment. And one of the best parts when I used to commute in and out of Penn all the time, I used to come to the city every single day for work, was listening to some of the artists at Penn. So I actually just got off track 21. This was my track right there. A lot of people do this commute every day. I did it for a while. Um, and then you could hop on the subway. This is the ACE, the AB, and the Express. Ah, just so many memories. And then, of course, the live music. I love it. They have a, this is all, again, so this wasn't here when I was working in the city. Now, I think, at least two. They have a nice waiting area over here with all the upcoming train times over there. And then this beautiful escalator upstairs. I, uh, I planned a pretty fun route for today. I'm going to do all new things that we haven't done yet. If you've missed it, I've done two live streams in the city so far whenever I'm here home visiting. Um, by the way, for those who don't know, hi, I'm Pete Carney. I uh, live in Florida and you see me all the time in the Disney parks and Universal SeaWorld doing all the crazy stuff. But I also love a lot of traveling. We do a lot of traveling here on the channel. And we are on a big road trip right now. We have been away from home for over two weeks traveling. We drove up the entire East Coast. Uh, we went camping upstate with my family. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at this. I got to show you guys how crazy beautiful this is because this did not exist. <laughs> this is nuts. So this is more of the Amtrak area. If you guys take an Amtrak into Penn or if you take an Amtrak out of Penn, but look at this beautiful train hall. Man, they did a great job with this. This is beautiful. I mean, not as like old school stunning as uh, if you went over to like Grand Central, but this is gorgeous. So I love the natural light. I love all the colors. Look at the size of the billboards, like lighting the entire room. Everything's digital. Even the billboards on the train and the advertisements on the train are digital now. It's crazy. What is happening? Man, I miss New York. But anyway, more, uh, in case you didn't know about me, I did grow up here on Long Island, in, uh, commuted to New York a lot, came to New York City a lot as a kid, loved the city, worked in the city, uh, just was a big part of my life. And then I moved to Orlando four years ago. So I haven't uh, been to New York City too much. I've come back. We've done two live streams here before. So today I planned a different route. We've done like Central Park, we've done Radio City, uh, Empire State Building, which are all awesome. If you wanna check those out, go just search New York City. Um, or one of my playlists I think is like non-Disney or travel adventures. Today I got a bunch of Thank treats you. for you and a bunch of inside Penn slash <laughs> station. This is nuts. By the way, if we ever lose service, I, by the way, if we ever lose service, I should mention, uh, just hit refresh. We're not going anywhere. I should mention, uh, just hit refresh. We're not going anywhere. I brought East. We'll see if uh, I get in today to cut the street off. Early. I get in today to cut the street off early. But uh, otherwise, I plan on being live with you for at least. They definitely have raised the bar. We should have we should have service most of the day. We're going to be outside. Today is going to be a big walking day. I have a lot to catch up with all of you about. I'm so excited to catch up with the chat. I'm excited to tell you about all my trips and adventures. And there's a ton of content coming your way. The reason we haven't started putting out the content from the start of the road trip is Lauren recorded a lot of it and it was on her phone. And then once we got to New York, we kind of split up. She was doing her thing because she's actually working while she's here, um, subbing in her old school district. I'm, so just so you know, we're starting our adventure here on 33rd Street, uh, and outside we go. But anyway, yeah, Lauren's been working, and then I was doing the family and friends thing on my side, and then I left to go to Pittsburgh 
for a bachelor party uh, Thursday through Sunday. I didn't get to see her until I think late Monday night. So I just got the footage, I think Tuesday morning or Tuesday night because I forgot to get it. We were just excited to see each other and catch up. So I finally have all the footage from our road trip so I could start editing it. I started it, uh, started editing it on the train. But there's so much, so, so much content we have. Again, if uh, some of you may know this, but when we left Florida, we drove up the coast, stopped at a bunch of cool cities and breweries. We love our breweries. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to bring it to all of you. And then we're back in Orlando on Tuesday where we'll be going live a lot from the parks and the theme parks, whether it's Disney or other parks. We're going to have a bunch of friends in town. Kenny Soraki's in town. Andy and Annette's in town. The return of MK, Ray, Ham, they'll all be hanging out. Farris is excited for me to come back. We'll see Farris Films. Jamari. So it's going to be a crazy week when we get back, but hopefully we'll be pumping out content along the way. Thank you so much to everyone who stuck around. We'd have some followers drop off. So let's do a little follower drive today. Let's, <laughs> if, you have, if you're not following, please consider following. We do a lot of travel stuff like this. So I'm in an awesome city like New York. We'll go live uh, other times we, like we've done along this entire trip. We recorded it and we'll put out an edited video. Look how beautiful. Look at just the beautiful architecture here in New York. Ah, I miss the smell of New York. I love it. I love it. This is a nice little sitting area. I don't know, New York kind of uh, looks nice. It looks pretty. Once we get to one of our first stops, we'll catch up with some chat or if there's like a boring stretch of walking. So we have a lot of walking today. And the reason we haven't gone live sooner, one, like I said, we were on a camping trip where there was no cell service. It was wild. When we first got to New York, absolutely no service in the mountains. So yeah, nothing could really happen there. Then we got back. I was only home for two days. Basically just saw some family, some friends prep to get ready for the bachelor party then i ended up driving my car since i have it up here since my car seats a lot of people we took my car from long island to pittsburgh then we had the bachelor party all weekend we got back late sunday night monday was i don't even know it's a blur tuesday yesterday got back to some work i had back to some editing but uh over the weekend i had hurt my ankle it's still a little sore today i took some aspirin but I was wanting to go live Tuesday or Wednesday. But uh, I couldn't really walk more than a few steps. Doing stairs were like a real, real problem. But I've just been stretching every day, taking some aspirin. And I said, you know what? It's good enough today to get the walking in because I wasn't able to do this tomorrow. And I really want to do a New York City live stream for all of you. I think they're fun. They don't get as many views as Disney, which is crazy because to me, they're so similar in so many ways yet so different but like you can't do all of disney in one trip you can't do all of new york in one trip there's so much to see there's so many different things for different people and groups this is a beautiful walk away as well man the west side looks awesome so we're on 33rd street heading west the Hudson is on the left side of Manhattan. The East River, obviously, on the east side. So what else has been going on? Yeah, so we really couldn't go live because I couldn't walk for basically since Saturday. Uh, more than five minutes without being in pain and having to sit. But we're back now. We got a lot of walking today. I gave it a good stretch. And I'm just so excited to be back with all of you. And uh, yeah, we just started editing all the content from the trip. So that'll start coming out in waves. We'll probably do that in a few different s sets or sections. Just so you're not getting like one. It'll take me forever to edit the whole thing all the way through. Uh, and you guys know the delay on that. Editing takes forever. So 
We'll release it in like, uh, I'm thinking probably 15, 20 minute videos instead of like an hour long video. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that pink tree over there. Look at New York, so artsy, so fun. We're now on 10th Avenue. If you're not aware how New York works, there's streets and avenues. Avenues are the long ones. They run north and south. Then the streets are the shorties. Like what we call like a block. Like, ah, uh, it's like two blocks. If someone says it's two avenues, you got a bit of a hike. But if it's two blocks, it's a quick little walk. I mean, I shouldn't say it's a big hike, two avenues. But now that I'm walking around Disney <laughs> all the time, doing our live streams and hanging out with all of you, I've gotten used to just doing long walks. So today, we are in for several miles, but I'm gonna take you to a bunch of cool spots around the city that we've never done on a live stream, and some spots that I've never even done. I thought it'd be really cool on this live stream again if you want to see other uh new york city landmarks that we're not going to see today there's two other live streams totally recommend you checking them out you can also see how the channels evolved how i've evolved and again i didn't even say this yet but if you haven't hit the like button please hit that like button it really does help it helps the algorithm helps other people find the stream let's show some people some positive new york vibes have some fun especially if you're a traveler I know I'm known for like theme parks and breweries, but New York is my home and it's beautiful and I love it. This is the first landmark we're going to see and I haven't seen it yet. So here we are, the vessel here at Hudson Yard. It's currently closed. So we can't go up, but it looks super cool and impressive. Let's get a little closer. We'll go to the front of it. Like I said, I'll also be catching up with the chat, so feel free to say hi. Any questions you have. It has been a while since we've been live. And so much has been going on with this long vacation. But this is the only summer vacation for me this year, which means you'll be getting lots of content all summer long from Orlando. But this is pretty much our only trip. And we made it a long one. Plus, Lauren only gets you know, June and July off from school. So this worked out and then it's nice because she gets to come home, see the family, see her friends, and then she gets paid for two weeks to work at her old school district. So she's gonna come home with more money than we started with. I'm going to go home Baroque, Baroque. Not like the classical music Baroque, but more like my bank account is empty. Maybe you think some people would enjoy a nice little walking around New York City stream today. Feel free to share it. Like I said, hit that like button. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing because I've uh, been so busy driving a car all the way around the world from Florida to upstate New York to Long Island to Pittsburgh to back to Long Island. I haven't been live or able to edit. So we got to get the channel up and bumping again. This is so nice. These trees providing shade for the benches. Disney, take note. And then people can just watch golf. This is crazy. They have just lawn chairs to watch golf in the middle of the city? With the vessel right behind it? This is wild. I'm obsessed with this. This is so cool. All right, I got to find a quick couple million. I need a new... I need an apartment in New York City stat. This is awesome. Look at this. You can watch golf in a lawn chair in the middle of the city. And it's a gorgeous day right now. It's about 75 degrees. It's going to heat up to 80, which is a little hot for me, but nice for others. I'm not sure why the vessel's closed, but this is super cool. They have a summer, uh, summer concert series, or as I combine the two words, a... <laughs> And then they have the TV schedule on this side, which is kind of fun. The big screen where they show all the games and 
stuff. That's fun. Today's the 15th, so we're watching the U.S. Open Golf Championship. This is awesome. And then here's Hudson Yards. Uh, if you're not sure what Hudson Yards is, uh, it's where they store the trains. You look at a lot of trains, and then you also see the Hudson River right there, which flows all the way upstate. A lot of battles fought on that Hudson. And on the other side, the Dirty Jersey. Spent a lot of time in Jersey over uh, on the way up, way down. Got to see John Thorne. Shout out to John Thorne. Not only on the way up when we first entered New Jersey uh, towards upstate for camping, but I got to see him on the way to Pittsburgh as well. We had an hour to kill waiting for a friend, and I said, hey, John, you want to grab a beer with me and my buddy? And he, so we met up for a beer. So here's all the trains. Of course, that those New York City food. I don't know. I guess I, I call them food trucks now, but they're not food trucks. The kiosk. Uh, it smells wonderful. It smells like the city. You guys might not think it's wonderful, but to me, it is wonderful. It smells like home. And look at these buildings. Oh, you know, growing up here, you never know how friggin' cool it is until you leave and come back. It's like Disney. Like, I'm so pumped to go back home to go to Disney. I miss Disney. I'm looking at people at Disney, and I'm like, oh, my God, I want to go on this ride. I want to go do that. I want to do that. This one's playing fetch with this dog. It's so cute. The grass is always greener, right? But man, I'm, it is a great day here in the city. We're gonna walk underneath the vessel. And then from here, we could pick up the High Line, which does have a Disney uh, nod. Uh, if you ever go to the West End of Disney, you can see uh, they have little, what looks like pieces of the High Line along the West End. Over by that food truck area, over by the AMC. This is cool, some more little food trucks here. You can go inside and take pictures on the inside, but you can't go up. Maybe we'll go, we'll go inside and look up. Again, we'll be live today as long as we can. I really miss hanging with all of you. I hope everyone's been well. I've been checking in on the Discord. Go check out our Discord, the link's in the description. Brandy's out in Europe. She just went to Germany. Now she's at Disneyland Paris. We got people graduating high school. Congratulations. We got, sadly, some people had lost. You know, God bless. But it's still an amazing community. And oh, All right. Let's go check out the inside of the vessel while we're here. Tomorrow night, I'm doing a comedy show in Long Island. Very exciting. Over at St. Joseph's University. Me and uh, eight other comics. I'm doing 80% um, new material and 20% old. And the reason for that is doing a little tribute to my dad. And I have some jokes I did about my dad when, that he heard when he was alive. But some new stuff. And uh, I wanted to call it, if I was doing my own special, I'd call it dad jokes. Even though it's not corny dad jokes. It's more me talking about my dad and how I miss him. Here's the inside of the vessel. This is the uh, elevator, which is super cool. Look at that elevator route, the curved elevator. They have the blue sphere here. Let's stand right in the middle and just look around. Very cool. There's a Rolex store. Should we pop in? Who wants to send a super chat for a Rolex? <laughs> JK, JK, JK. Look how beautiful the city is. 
This is the shops at Hudson Yards. It looks very beautiful. Basically a mall. We've all seen one. Let's stay outside and show you some other cool stuff. Watches of Switzerland. I like the trees. Here's the shed. I think this is a performing arts center. I like the cog look there on the bottom. That silver bubble look. Again, if you're just joining us, please hit the like button. It really does help. Consider subscribing. Would love to have you. We do lots of, we call it Adventures by Carnies. We do lots of adventures. I mean, yes, we are in the theme parks a lot. And you can find a lot of theme park content here on the channel. But also traveling. We love to travel. There's going to be a lot of travel videos coming out. We are now entering the High Line. Just did the High Line in Pittsburgh. Nice to do it here. So this was, for those who don't know, actually they did use these railroad tracks. This was the, a line that ran above the city. It was decommissioned. They turned it into this beautiful walking path that has shops, stalls. So it goes all the way down to the Hudson. But we are going to walk downtown. Some super cool art installations. Things you can buy. A lot of fun facts on the side. And lots of gardens, the gardens of the highlight. It's a mindful walk. That breeze was wonderful. I thought it was gonna be a lot hotter. This is great weather for me. Sorry. There's that pink tree we saw earlier. Again, once we uh, take a stop somewhere, because, you know, eventually I, I want to take a stop somewhere. We'll catch up with the chat, see what's going on. Thanks so much to everybody for here. Hope you're having a wonderful week and a very fantastic Thursday. Can't believe it's Thursday already. So we're walking just above the streets of New York City, and we, this actually goes pretty far downtown. We're going to get off before the end, and I want to take you through the Chelsea Market. It's one of my favorite places. When I worked in Manhattan, uh, for the most part, my primary job was selling beer for a brewery. So I uh, had the very hard job of going, if you could imagine how many bars there are and restaurants in New York City that sell beer going to all of them in all five boroughs. Yes, it's basically an impossible task. So you have to prioritize. But it was really cool because it showed me a lot of the city. Look at these beautiful gardens. It's just so crazy because like you're just walking in Manhattan. This is just a walk around Manhattan and it's all this greenery and it tells you about the flowers on each side you can see some of the rooftops and it's a great day for it it was it's a very nice balcony for someone you got a nice weber grill there a nice table for four not a lot of privacy with the high line but still very nice another balcony there Cool building. I love the architecture of the city. Let's see, we're headed a little more inland from the Hudson. We were about a hundred yards away when we started. Now we're a few blocks in. Highline does what it wants. Look at this building. It's awesome. This 
a cool building. It's great to have an apartment here. Either you're looking at the water or you get a nice view of the High Line. Just love all the greenery. Look at this, it's like we're walking through all these trees. Going back to what I was saying earlier, the reason I like Chelsea Market is I had some clients in there. I used to sell beer too, but it's also uh, upstairs where they tape a lot of the Food Network shows, and I love Food Network. So you're bound to run into usually a chef or two that you've seen on TV. That's where I met like Jeffrey Zakarian for the first time, and Alex Warner Shelley, and uh, so many other people. I met almost all the chefs there. And then what's cool is I got to go to the restaurants and sell them, try to sell them beer. Hey, you want some super limited release beer from Long Island? Put it on your menu, base a dish around it. Look at all this, I love the trees, all this green. What an awesome idea, the highlight. And you could bounce out in certain blocks if you want to, like right here. So there are areas where you just kind of like sit, read, and take it in. Like over here. Just look down the beautiful block. Everyone just kind of hanging out, just sitting on a bench. Look, look east. Got a nice little booking. Some Binox over there. Another little cutout to the left. All right. While we walk, you can take in the beauty. I'll catch up with some chat before I lose it. Going back to the very first chat message. I can still see it. I think at 1.15, it was Maddie Big Cat. Said, my man, David Lung. So let's do it live. Siva Co. What's up, David? Another New York City resident. Tomorrowland Traveler in the house. What's up, Tomorrowland Traveler? Andrew C., my man from Boston. Steve Marmelstein, what's going on? Pete just peace. And missed you, Pete. What's up, Carney Crew? I missed you guys. This is cool. What do we got going on in here? It looks like there's a uh, setting up some music. You can just pop, park it over here on these benches and watch. Looks like these students are about to play. I see some fish tanks back there. students setting up their instruments very exciting but time to hustle time to hustle another little offshoot with benches if you just want to take in again just a nice look how beautiful this is come on we're in the middle of the city peaches i missed you too by the way thank you so much missed all of you Yes, David, that was the new station area. I love the new station area. T-L-O-S, what's going on? So it's so good to see you, uh, Pete. Missed you so much. Thank you for taking us uh, to New York City. Hope you guys are enjoying your trip. Sending love from L.A. Thank you so much, T-L-O-S. David Lung says the LTE could be a little spotty inside the station. Yeah, we saw that. Again, if we ever lose service, just hit refresh. We're not going anywhere. We're hanging out with you all day long. Like I said, my goal is at least four hours. Mike S., what's going on? Says, hey, Pete, we're leaving Hilton Head, uh, South Carolina, in two days. Oh, leaving four. Oh, enjoy your vacation, Mike. That's awesome. Jackie Johnson, what's going on? Great to see you. Jackie, I was close to upstate. That's awesome. I loved it up there. It was so peaceful and serene. Lauren's like, we got to get a house up here one day. I'm like, all right. It's good to have goals. Look at this big art installation. It's like a vase playing those long instruments like those Ricola Ricola you can see all the way down to the Hudson here and then buildings blocking the east 
but this is cool. It's called The Wind Blows by Gabrielle Charlie. All right, beautiful. I'm into it. <laughs> Steve Marmos line. Only monsters go through their subscriptions and unsubscribe. It's all right. I get it. Sometimes I do that if I like just if a channel feel if I feel like a channel stops posting. I mean, technically we were only not posting for eight days or so. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, let's get the subs back up. Look at this guy having a good time almost forever. That's fun. I think I would do that too. <laughs> But I appreciate everyone sticking around. Andy Van Dyke, we're going to be hanging out with him next week. So excited. So here's the Highline map. Welcome. Bienvenidos. We started up here by these are the Hudson Yards, right? So we started right here. We came down. We're already here. We're already about halfway down the Highline. I forget where I want to get out again. I forget where Chelsea Market is. What block is that? I probably should have remembered. I think I'm just going to see it. We're at 23rd now. This is one of those cool views. We could almost see completely across the island of Manhattan to the East River, which is where uh, Queens and Brooklyn. Here's that. So excited we'll be hanging out a lot with Andy and Annette and that crew next week. It's gonna be great. Good move to sell water right there. Randy, no sound since I'm in a French. Uh, <laughs> but I appreciate you stopping in, Brandy. Thank you. Trevor, how'd you hurt your ankle? That's a good question. Mark Mueller, good afternoon, Pete and the crew. Good afternoon, Mark. Great to see you here. Shep Owen says, hi everybody, what's going on, Shep? Yikes, David. I just read your comment. That's crazy. Hopefully you got clear. If you guys let me know if it's blurry, I'll, uh, I'll mix it up. Some cool art here on this building along the walk. And a nice seating area. Just want to take a sit. You also explore the High Line with a guy. They have QR codes. Could give you some fun facts along the way, but we're using our phone to live stream, so. Sixteenth is Chelsea. Thank you, John. That's what I thought. Again, if you're trying to navigate the city, you haven't been here before, the sh streets uh, work their way up. So 16th, if we're in the 20s, would be south of us. If you were to keep going up, say like towards Harlem and the Bronx, you'd be over the hundreds. 125th big station here. It's where you used to get off and sell a lot of beer. Nate D, what's going on? Adam, the coaster lover, what's happening? Nate, I don't know where that is. Uh, Charlene, is there still smoke from Canada? No, it's cleared up a lot, thank goodness. But when we got here last week, oh boy, it was like, it looked like something out of a movie, like the end of the world. Like the sky was all orange, you couldn't see in front of you. It just uh, end of days, it was wild. But it cleared up and it's obviously beautiful. You can kind of see. And look how pretty this is. Listen to the birds. I'll shut up for a little bit so you guys can hear it. I'll, I'll hush my mouth.
Auto da. Here we are. Elevator is the 23rd Street. I think we're at a. No, no, we'll keep going. Eh, we're more to see, more to see. This is a cool looking building too, right here on the left. It's like a bunch of like bubbled windows. I love that. <laughs> Daniel, how much was it, Pete? I need a new watch, Bogo. Out of control. I'm afraid to tell you because I'm afraid you'd do it. You crazy, beautiful person. Charlene, is the vessel just a walkthrough? It looks unique. Yes, it was. It's closed right now. Uh, David put a reason. I don't know if it's true or not in the chat above, but it is very cool. So right now we're basically following 10th Avenue. We're heading south. This is cool, man. This building matches this building, same architect. I like it. Also, we have, I haven't been live, so I haven't been able to say this yet, but a huge happy birthday to one of the OGs of OGs of this channel. He has helped support this channel since literally day one. Also one of the kindest people to ever meet. Also, he has a YouTube channel you should go support. The Tomorrowland Traveler, Daniel. Happy birthday. We love you. I love you. I can't wait to celebrate when we get back. He's got a little bit of a flu, so we're going to party next week when I'm home. But a big birthday shout out to the Tomorrowland Traveler, Daniel. Everyone, show him some love. And if you really want to show him some love, if you want another great channel, he does fantastic videos. The Tomorrowland Traveler on YouTube. Go check it out. If you're missing me running around the parks like a maniac doing crazy things, go watch his channel. Get your fix. But then come on back when you're done. Watch all of his videos, like all of them, leave a comment. But then come on back and check out some of my videos you haven't checked out. But it's his birthday week, so we gotta show him the love this week. Nate says, you're not missing out on much. Like one of us, the 92 yeah. feels like 99. I know, Kenny Soraki, another awesome, Awesome friend of the channel, Patreon member. By the way, have a Patreon. Go check it out. The link's down below. But uh, he just got, and he's going to be in the video coming up. We stayed at his place in AC on this trip. He just got to Disney World today. We'll be seeing him next week as well. Shout out to Kenny Soraki. But he said, hey, if you think 80's hot, <laughs> he's like, it feels like it's 100 degrees here. John Thorne in the house. Great to see John. Got to see him twice this trip. I'm so spoiled. David says, I'll be visiting Chelsea Market on Saturday. Well, we're visiting it today. Maybe we'll find some good finds for you. We'll find some good eats. Pete, might want to try a refresh. All right, let's try. I'll try a quick refresh. Nobody go anywhere. Let me know if it's better or worse. Hold on one second. All right, we're back. Let me know if this is better or worse. Hopefully it's not as blurry, but look at all these beautiful benches in the shade and this beautiful lookout spot and you got the looking glass. I'll give you a better look in a second. Let's walk around. I don't want to block anyone. How cool is this? You sit here and you can look straight down 10th. Including the glass window right here so it looks like you could be standing right in the action I'm sure that's a fantastic shot if you're enjoying our little New York City walkthrough please hit that like button it does help Look at this and I love the live music what a cool instrument it's beautiful Imagine hanging out on that rooftop bar right there. That's wild. 
is crazy. It's so crazy. What are we got going on over here? We're a bit more than four. Here's our map. So we started up top at the green. We are about two thirds of the way down right there. And this is 16th Street, which I think we are gonna go stop at Chelsea Market. Silicon Dave, what's going on? Says hello, ABC and YouTube. Taking in some shade on this 91 degree day. We did refresh, so let me know if it's better. Hopefully the picture is clear. Nate says 95 degrees where he is. Feels like 103. Jeez. Says, I think I'll cut the grass tomorrow. Good idea. Ah, uh, the sounds of the city. All right, let's head down here. Here's Chelsea Market. The entrance on 10th Avenue. So we'll go this way. City bikes. Sarah just arrived to the city as well. Hi, Sarah. I was in Disney when you were driving here, and now I'm here. I love it. Lauren's here too. What's going on? Lauren says, just came in to say hi, show some love. She's got a proctor. She's been working hard all week. Hope you have a great stream. Thanks, Lauren. Just everyone hit the like button. I agree. And if you're new, consider subscribing. We'd love to have you. There it is. Lots of love for T3. Nate says, much better. Good. I'm glad the picture is better. So much better. Okay, cool. I wish I would have done that sooner. Thanks for letting me know, everybody. Mike Graney in the house of the city that never sleeps with the guy that never sleeps. We missed you, Pete. Absolutely. How's it going? I actually did finally get, I did go on a like 11 day run of three to four hours of sleep every night, but then finally got some sleep last night. It was marvelous. Chelsea Market, here we are, open seven days. Let's head in. I love this place. These are all the shops that are in here. It's fantastic. I love it. Again, it's also been about, wow, six years since I've been in here? Maybe more? We got a gelato place right here. Chelsea Market Baskets. There's a bookstore. So at least when I was working uh, here many years ago, uh, Food Network, their studios are above it, above here, and that a lot of the places down here source some like really awesome fresh food, whether it's a butcher shop, seafood place, crepes. We'll see if we could find that. like a cool place. Ayada. Look how cool this looks. Some old timey fun stuff. Color your own postcard. That's fun. It's a fun little activity at Chelsea Market. Friedman's Lunch. They were an old client of mine. They used to buy my beer. Great food at Friedman's. Over here, Mediterranean street food. Mise non. Ayana. Ayada. And here's the donuttery. Let's go in here, let's pop in. Ooh, 
Takumi Taito. Japanese inspired Mexican. That's like combining all the things. Over here's the donuttery. Mini donuts. They drop them, fry one side, flip them, bring them up here, and then drop them in to dry. Love it. Boom. What a genius invention. You got jerk chicken and juice over here, black seed bagels. I've had so much Italian. We're back. We jumped on the Wi Fi. Ooh, lobster place. This place was awesome. I used to go in here all the time. I love seafood. Let's go check a look. You gotta see how awesome this stuff looks. They have everything here too. What's going on? So we got cherry stone clams, little night clams, cocktail shrimp, langoustines, diver scallops. Look at the size of those scallops. Cortez Island, Violet Cove, Little Ram, King Crab Legs, Sherwood Island, Portsmouth Salt, Matt. I look at all these oysters, I want them all. Pink Moons, Eel Lake. You keep Oh my gosh, I want everything. And I am so hungry because I have not had food yet today. Cullen Pistols, an oyster bar. Looks so good in there. We're here this I want to go show you. The lamps look like pasta a lot. I believe they make all their pasta in house, but uh, you get to the front and watch all the sauce, how it happens. Look at all those pans. You can come check it out. Oh man, now I want some pasta. And if you want pasta to go, the wall is full of pasta. How's it going? Nice cocktail bar as well. You got your biscotti and your cookies. Have a good one. You can check out the pasta right up front too. You can get pasta to go. Across the way here. Your coffee shop. Here's the cream line, American classics. Wow, there's a long line here. Something must be real good. Could it be Makbar, Korean ramen? Could it be lo what is this, Los Tacos? Let's see what all the hype is. Also, you have uh, this cool little grocery. Uh, I love it. Everybody wanted the taco place. Pork buzz, lunch, happy hour, pairings, events. That sounds nice. It's a nice little wine bar. 
Rag and Bone clothing store. Amy's Bread. They, they actually provide bread for the city. Amy's Bread. They got some good bread. You got the National Biscuit Company over here. You got your biscuits. And they serve German beers. Let's see what's happening over here. They have Linlock chocolates. They have drinking chocolates, form chocolates. Over here, they got a pizzeria. Look at all this pizza. It looks so good. A lot of it stuck around, so here's some of that outdoor seating. A lot of it stuck around, so here's some of that outdoor seating from. Oh, here's this bakery. Fresh cut flour, florist. Moscat, some glasses. Neighborhood goods. Let's see what here. And more goods. I got spiked mermaid lemonade, won't back down pride cocktail, steak free, strawberry crepes, chicken and waffles. Ooh, it's like a clothing store and a bar. Look at this. Well, I guess I'm setting off the alarm. I'm still. I'm, I'm bringing in, bringing back stolen goods. I guess. I. <laughs> All right. Well. We're going to risk it. Uh, yeah, you got a clothing store. I love this. Cool. Super cool. All right, here we go again. We're going to set it off one more time. Tiny feast. If there was room at the bar, I might actually grab a beer. It's cool in there. And the prices aren't crazy. And anthropology is right here. And there you have it, Chelsea Market. Busy, crazy, but fun. I kind of wanted to grab a beverage, but it was too crowded. And we lost service too many times, so <laughs> off we go. We got to make sure for all of you. Here's Google celebrating Pride Month. Some awesome street art here. <laughs> All right, now we head inland. There's the Homestead Steakhouse. We're gonna just take this little loop around over here. So I think it's a more, I don't know, a prettier walk, if you will. We're the king of beef. Thanks for sticking by us. <laughs> P2P alcohol and shopping is a bad combo for me. I'm the target audience they have there. <laughs> I always buy things when I have had some drinks. That's so funny. I do like all the seating areas and greenery they have. I know it's probably added a ton of traffic to the city, but in the city, you should be walking, riding a bike, taking the subway. Cars are a rough way to get around. There's the Gucci store right there. It's Gucci, baby.
So right now we are obviously, we just left Chelsea Market, but Chelsea Market, Meatpacking District, we're right here in the middle. And my plan was to walk towards the village. So I think what we're gonna do is take 14th and then we'll cut down Greenwich Avenue. There's lots of fun stuff to see and do over there. Again, I haven't had any food yet today. I would love a little bite to eat, maybe a beverage. And catch up with all of you in the chat, chat it up a little bit, and then keep the train moving and show you as much as I can. Nice bakery here. Look at that beautiful bread. Lucky Selecticism sounds very fancy. We got a juice bar. Man, I love Manhattan. Just so many options. Everything looks awesome. Another nice little clothing shop. 14th Street is also significant because there is a subway underneath us which runs across the city. Which there's not too many of those. And this will keep going if you want to take this uh, out to Brooklyn. Big church here, Our Lady Guadalupe. Gathering the pigeons right here. I don't know what they know, but I guess that concrete has something special on it. They're coming from far and wide. Horchata latte. Two shots of espresso and a homemade horchata. That sounds amazing. 787 coffee. That sounds fantastic. Little pizza shop over here. Now on the corner of 8th and 14th where you pick up the ACE or that L train, which I was telling you about, which takes you out to Brooklyn. ACE runs more north-south. L runs east-west. Museum of Illusions. What? I love magic. Magician Dennis Kim every Tuesday and Wednesday. Oh, we missed it. That would have been so cool. I love illusions. We did a cool, uh, well, we've done a lot of different magic streams here, but uh, also there's a place in Orlando, I forgot what it's called, I think it's something like illusions or whatever. Maybe the Museum of Illusions there too. Maybe it's a chain, I don't know. But we did one video and it's uh, super neat. It's over in Icon Park in Orlando. You can check that out if you want. Bookmark that for a stream to watch after this. We're making good time. Not even three o'clock yet. We're already making our way into the village. I love it. Here's Jackson Square, nice little park here in the city. You know, I like a good water feature. That's the NYPD, in case you were wondering. <laughs> Ah, 
I love the village. <laughs> it's a great name, Salt and Battery. While we walk around here, let me go back to where I left off here in the chat. subway underneath us. Christine Martz, great to see you. Thank you so much. I'm glad the picture improved for everyone. Again, if the picture ever is weird, let me know. I'll fix it. Great seeing you, Silicone Dave. How is the picture quality now? Looks a little blurry. All right, let's fix it up. Everyone, don't go anywhere. Just hit refresh. I'm going to just try and change it up for a second. Be right back. How that? Hopefully, the picture quality is better. Oh, they really decorated this. Looks great. He just says, looks good to me. All right, awesome. Andrew Saunders, what's going on? David says, I've eaten salt and battery. It's a UK fish and chips. That's cool. All right, I'm glad the picture quality improved. This is the New York City AIDS Memorial. Very nice, beautiful memorial here. Let's go walk through the park. Gorgeous. Mighty Queens, there should be a Mighty Queens near where I grew up. It's funny. A cool little art piece here. Somebody's closet. Go to my moons for a falafel. I don't know if I'm in the mood for a falafel. I kind of want something like light or something just like snack on. Also, something that has a decent beer menu would be great, too. I could love a, love a good beer right about now. We're having a good time in New York City. Got to have a good beer. And there she is. One World Trade. 1,776 feet tall. 1,776. Looks beautiful. Like there's a lot of fun stuff going this way. Let's go check it out. Here's the West Village Florist. Elephant and Castle.
fiddlesticks. And these go back to pandemic necessity where you had to have outdoor dining. A lot of places just kept them up. Why not? Get some more square footage. It's uh, very expensive here in New York. Oh, mommy sushi. Nice. Ooh, that's a good special. Holy cream, ice cream and donuts. You got the barber shop. Colombian rainbow empanadas. Ooh. There's the tree house. Super awesome secret fort. In case you're wondering about uh, how New York City public schools work on their recess, here they are. <laughs> Or maybe cheering. I gotta think about it. You run around a big yard. <laughs> Brilliant to have ice cream right outside. Brilliant. The Boom Boom Brow Bar, voted best brows. Get my brows done. looks nice. What's on the menu here? Ooh. We do need a place to eat soon. I'm getting hungry. Fire truck coming down. Give an old salute to the FDNY. Nice garden here. But also you get to be out The Jefferson Markets Garden. Let's take a look. How are you? Let's look at the garden. bench over here. Little bird bath. Love that. Another nice little bench just sitting underneath the trellis. I like these little parks here in the city. Greenhouse off to the right. A pond. Great place to read or draw. These. Another beautiful bench. I like that. People drawing and reading. What a beautiful garden. You gotta take it in. Hello, Brianna. Hi, Jeremy. Peaches. Don't you have to eat pizza in New York City? I mean, I've been having pizza all week. Maybe. I'm looking for a place where I can just sit down for a second. Put the phone down, just chat with all of you. 
maybe grab a cocktail or a beer and have a little, little snack. Nothing crazy. The Ruth Wittenberg Triangle. Here's another great view of downtown. Where should we go? Let me think. I was waiting for a chess game. All right, we'll cut down. Well, yeah, we'll take. What's going on here? Everyone's got red lights. Oh, get out of Waverly. Olio Ipio. I love how many floors there are, and there's so many floors in New York compared to Florida where you have to go to like. A Publix that has a florist. Not a lot of like independent florist in where I live in Orlando. Again, if you're just joining us, we're walking around New York City. I was born and bred on Long Island, came into the city all the time as a kid, worked in the city for a little bit, and then four years ago moved to Orlando. Now we're back, and I just love coming back, walking around. I figure I'd take you with me. I missed hanging out with all of you. If you're missing your Disney content, it's coming back next week. We'll be back in the parks almost every day next week. Uh, probably, depending on when we arrive, either Tuesday or, or Wednesday, we'll do a live stream. Back in the parks. And you'll start getting your edited content from this road trip. We drove from Florida all the way up the coast to upstate New York, then back down to Long Island. Then I drove from Pittsburgh, from Long Island to Pittsburgh, back to Long Island. Now we're in the city. If you're brand new, consider subscribing. Lots of travel and theme park and just good old fashioned fun content. And if you haven't hit the like button yet, please do so. It really helps, helps with the algorithm. Maybe it'll help somebody find this video who could, would love to see New York City. Right. Little New York City trick. If you can, I don't wait for lights. You just go to the next one. Oh, there it is. This reminds me of my old work days. Just walking around, backpack on. I got a nice heavy backpack. So I wasn't sure where I was staying tonight with friends in the city, with friends in Long Beach, with friends on Long Island. So I brought enough stuff on my back for whatever. And four chargers to make sure this stream can keep going. Captain Kirk's is a lot quieter than I expected. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> technically everyone is still at work, quote unquote, it's uh, a little after three o'clock here on the East Coast. Sorry. Is there showing a place? Babo. 
Babo, fantastic restaurant. Hotel Washington Square, if you haven't guessed, we're headed towards Washington Square Park. Amiri! We're also in NYU territory, so the world famous college, NYU. This is a. Uh, we're in their neighborhood. There's NYU buildings over here, there's NYU buildings over here, and this is Washington Square Park. I'm still hungry. I might want to bop in. You know what? Let's see if this little place, North Square, is anything good. I see a chalkboard sign. I would just love one to go to the opera and two a quick little sit down. Let's see what they have here. Ooh, it looks so fancy. All right, I just wanted a quick little spot. We'll head into the park. don't know Washington Square Park, you probably do and don't know it. It's one of those uh, iconic, I hate throwing that around, but it is an iconic park. A lot of things filmed here for uh, TV and movies. People playing games, looks like an intense game going on. There's scoots. Love the scoots. See a lot of college students, but also just a lot of New York people just hanging out on the grass, taking in some sun, picnicking. Mr. Days is what should you want? We uh we just got off uh, Waverly. Yeah, Babo had a little bit of a controversy with Mario Batali, correct, Steve. But they still put out some really good food. Nice big park. Washington Square Fountain coming up. There's a lot of people hanging out on the grass. Some live music, they're jamming away. More people hanging on the grass. Love that. Here's the fountain. And then all the vendors just kind of hanging out. And you probably recognize this arch. Again, this is a classic filming area. Let's see what these vendors are. And then you got the fountain. What's great is you see people sometimes literally hanging out in these fountains. There's these steps. People jump in it. I personally wouldn't, but let's see what these vendors are, are offering today. We got some jewelry. We got some clothes. Some ice cream and sodas. Free healing from this guy. Some I Love New York shirts. Oh my God. This guy's great. Look at the way this guy's dressed. I love it. 
He just said to someone, are you happy to see me? So am I. That's great. We got a graffiti artist here. I love it. Some people coming together to jam together right here. Homemade jewelry, 10 to 20 bucks. Not bad at all. Pre-rolled weed. <laughs> uh, marijuana is legal here in the city now. A poem for your thoughts. Ooh, from my thoughts. That's kind of cool. This guy's got a little bit of everything. Starting to think this might be the spot if uh, you're looking for a certain type of plant. Drawings and portraits, that's cool. This is quite the setup. Brilliant, I love how this spread. Etch a sketch, that's awesome. I love New York. All right, may as well just walk through the park instead of the street. We'll head out this way. Had a park for the kids over here, which is very nice. big NYU building right here. Pretty cool, we go to NYU. This is, uh, this is where you hang out. <laughs> Whoa, this guy's like the pigeon lady from Home Alone. That's crazy. Love it, vibing. Congratulating their class of 2023. Let's head down here. And there's a ton of good restaurants and different bars and whatnot this direction.
think about the amount of property NYU owns, like all these buildings here, here. Just the real estate value on that is crazy. All right, let's pop into the White Oak, see what's going on in here. Let's even grab a little snack. Yeah, this looks like a spot for me. Let's see if they got a bar. Yeah. Hey, thanks to the bar? Yeah. Thanks. How are you? Looking for uh, something to drink and a little bite to eat. Uh, we're just literally uh, just live streaming all of New York as I walk around. <laughs> I uh, I lived here, but I moved away four years ago. So, so I'm back. I'm turning the camera on. We started a YouTube channel during the pandemic, and now it's just everywhere we go. Okay. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I guess so. It'll be mostly aimed on me. Just right now, it's aimed on the bottles. Sounds heavy, but it sounds so tasty. It sounds heavy, it sounds like the lemon basil, and then there's like micro basil on top. Okay. It's like really nice and it's not like the monster. All right. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah.
So I'll just be over here talking to myself like a weirdo. Yeah. <laughs> Interacting with the world watching. Yeah, exactly. All right, we're just joining us. We're walking around New York City. We're here at the White Oak, down in the village. Uh, I love the village. Uh, we're gonna show you a bunch of other cool spots, but I just need a quick spot just to sit down for a second, take a load off, have a beer, grab a little bite to eat, and uh, we'll hit the road. I don't know what is going on. This looked good this morning but I uh, don't know what's happening, so that's my hair. Let's see if I can find, I brought a second phone so I can look up where we go next. I think I might've put it in here, I did, yes. Also, I'll catch up with the chat, so if you guys have any questions, uh, any places you want to go while we're down here in the village, let me know. Hopefully there's Wi-Fi in here. Do you guys have Wi-Fi in here, by any chance? Yeah, it's white oak. So I'm sure some of you have heard of, so we, we started the stream, we started right in Penn Station, we went and did, uh, went down to Hudson Yard, that was fun, we saw the vessel, walked the High Line, I love the High Line, uh, showed you a little bit of Chelsea Market, because I just think it's a really cool spot, going to Chelsea Market, and uh, then we just walked around the village, and we have a lot more village to come to, I just, again, I just want a little bit of a break, we've been now live for about 100 minutes. Of walking, it's a little warm outside. It's about eight, 80 degrees. Uh, it should hit 80 around three o'clock. So yeah, it's 3:30 right now. Let's see what's happening. Uh, so the plan is right now. I'm looking at a map so I can plan this. If you guys have any questions, like I said, or places you want to go and see, let me know. But I think we're gonna go to McSorley's. I think. Oh, look at that. I'm literally scrolling up and I just saw John Thorne run McSorley's. So that is probably my next stop. There's also a Newbury that I haven't been to yet, which is around the corner. I'd love to check that out. Walter Elias says, is it super blurry for anyone else? Uh, let me see, I can turn on the Wi-Fi if you want. Hold on one second. Everyone, don't move a muscle. Stay right there. Hit refresh in two seconds. And we're back. Uh, surprising news. Didn't think this was gonna happen, but guess what, everybody? Like our past New York City streams, Mama Carney might be joining us. I think she's on a train and she arrives around 4.45 into Penn Station, so watch out. Mom is gonna be on the loose with me in New York. I think we're gonna see a show tonight too. I'm not sure we're going to a comedy club down here in the village or a Broadway show, so that'll be exciting. But we're gonna keep the stream running right up until she gets here. So yes, we're gonna go to McSorley's for sure. Uh, let's see what else is going on. I hope this is less blurry. I just tried to fix that for you, Walter. Brandy's back, so we're back to the hotel for a bit, so I thought I'd pop back in. Great to see you, Brandy. Hi, Jason. Brandy's out in France right now. Shout out to the French. It's a warmer day in New York City. It's, uh, like I guess at high of 80 today, but it's beautiful. Pete just says it's lovely uh, in the DC area right now, upper 70s, and she's heading for the Outer Banks on Saturday. Uh, over 80s over in Europe, but the Europeans don't believe in AC. Yeah, that's rough. I remember that. I also love the background music. Big fan, big fan.
program. Links down below, patreon.com backslash adventures by Carney. This is gonna be perfect. These two sliders are ideal. Just the size. How do you take a photo on the old iPhone? How do you take a photo on the old iPhone? Yeah. I want to photograph this because it only works on Wi-Fi, the second phone, the main phone we're using now. And you'd be so proud of me, and I'm charging right now. Yeah, I know what you mean. Because then you Power button? Alright, let's see. <laughs> it worked. So proud, so proud. All right, meeting fast. I got two more bites, drink this beer. More New York City coming. It's amazing, I already caught up with the shop. Exciting. Um, Peaches, the breweries in Virginia, we stopped at, and when we were in Richmond, were very good. Um, I have shorts on them, and I'll send them to you if you want. Message me in the Discord, I'll, I'll shoot you a message. We have a lot of brewery reviews coming up. We have a lot of brewery reviews. Brewery reviews coming up. I'm so excited, I'm not done chewing. I 
also get just that I resemble other people because of my short hair. Thank you so much. Thanks. Well, that was a lovely little stop. Thank you so much for uh, obliging me and letting me grab a little bite to eat, a quick beer. Uh, that was the White Oak Tavern here on, I believe we're on 8th. So now I'm gonna head to McSorley's. I got a few other If that should ever happen again, please just hit the refresh button. Uh, we just left the Wi-Fi switch to cell service. Certain areas of the city have better service than others. If we go inside and outside, maybe a little different. So yes, if we go inside and outside, maybe a little different. So yeah. Sliders and the beer were fantastic. Very nice bartender. We are in the NYU area. And, uh, oh, I saw someone, the links, that'd be great. I forgot, uh... I haven't really been promoting anything, but if you're new and you want, you're hanging out here with us in New York City, uh, you can follow me on my socials at official Carney on Instagram at your WDW guy on Twitter. Adventures by Carney is the TikTok. We have an awesome Discord. Go check out the link down below. And there's a Patreon, which now Brandy is going to be bringing back some amazing Disneyland Paris stuff. So check out the Patreon, patreon.com backslash adventures by carney and of course not everyone can do the patreon but it means so much to me so shout out to all the patreons making my dreams come true keeping this channel alive we could not do this channel without them so thank you thank you thank you to all the patreons passing the subway stop in case you're curious this is where you pick up the r and the w the a street station you can head downtown or brooklyn And again, if you can't do the Patreon program, you know what's a really, really nice thing to do? Subscribing, hitting the like button, going to check out some other videos that maybe you haven't looked at. Go, go look at the library of hundreds of videos we've made. Sharing with family and friends who you think might enjoy it. Sharing with family who won't enjoy it. Also funny, but I don't know. They might, they might get mad at me. But we like to have fun here. All right, now we're uh, headed up Astor Place. Man, I miss the city, love it. For those wondering the schedule, we've been uh, out of Florida now since, hmm, wow, what has it been? 
little over two weeks. Drove up the coast. A lot of content coming your way. Hopefully, I can get the first one done. Maybe we'll see, we'll see how uh, late tonight goes and how crazy tomorrow gets. But maybe this weekend, maybe tomorrow. Who knows? You'll at least get a short tomorrow, if not a full video. Also, like I said, we have a great Discord. That link's down below. So many things to plug and talk about. Uh, when I don't have time to keep posting everywhere, I post on Instagram a lot. Uh, especially my story. So Instagram, at official carney. If you want to keep up with the comings and goings and all the craziness. And also, someone wants to remind me in the chat. 440, my mom said she's been, she'll be pulling into... Penn Station. We gotta tell Mom McCarney where we are, have her come meet us, and then decide what show we're going to. My guess is she's gonna want to see a Broadway show. I said I was gonna go to a comedy club by myself tonight, but hey, I love Broadway. I did, I did musical theater a little bit myself. I think I'm walking the right way. It's fun just kind of doing it by memory, but look at this nice area. Just come and sit, be outside. I love this. It's what it's all about. What do you got over here? What little stand is this? Oh, a little coffee shop. I love it. Beautiful little place to sit. Welcome to Jam Rock. I think I'm headed the right way, but let's go this way. We got all these city bikes. That'd be fun to do on a stream too, but I feel like walking, we could talk more, take it in. Wouldn't be as hectic. I should, hmm, before. 419. I should try and find some Wi Fi and face to my mom on the train and tell her where to go. Because I don't want to interrupt the stream, right? We got to keep this party going for us. Here's another little park area. Love it. You see, when you think New York City, you'll think there's all these little parks. They're everywhere, they're great. There's also a heavy Ukrainian area over here too, I believe. Peter Cooper, erected by the citizens of New York and grateful remembrance of Peter Cooper, founder of the Cooper Union for the advancement of science and art. Oh, very cool. I like science and art. I'm a fan. Village voice. A classic. Look at this cool building. Cooper and East 6th. I think. I think I might have gotten too far, actually. I think McSorley's just right around here somewhere. Right around here somewhere. A block. I think it's up here. It might be over there. Let's go check it out. I think it's right over there. I think it's on 7th. having so much fun just went right on by it look at this funky building 
So much fun. I wonder if Mama Carney's watching on the train. I mean, you would hope. There it is, I see it. So when Mama Carney joins us later, I have, well, I have an extra, she wants to be on a stream, but we're gonna put her on for a little bit at least. But I have a lot in common with my mom. We have a lot of laughs. You guys missed our epic rock, paper, scissor battle. We might recreate it tonight at some point. But we both love live entertainment, shows, comedy, Broadway, anything, dancing. We have a good time together. Here we go, Mixed Release Old Ale House. So there is history here, established back in 1854. When you walk in, they don't ask you what kind of beer you want. It's just light or dark. This is their 169th year and ale as well. I love that. We were here before you were born. Love that. Only not operated by the Mar family. Wow, it's wild. All right, let's go ahead and check it out. Look at the floor. Love the sawdust on the floor. How's it going? Should I do a. Uh, let's do uh, two lights, two darks. We want two lights, two darks. They are smaller beers, and you see how they pour them. It's, uh, I think this is probably the equivalent of one beer. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is how you order beer light or dark, and you get them in these small mugs, lots of head. It's just the way it goes. It's fun. Sixty-nine years. of beer, 16 bucks. We're going for it. We're here at Mixed Orleans. We're at Mixed Orleans, right? We gotta go for it. I guess we gotta drink light to dark, right? Cheers. I'm not, well, I'll have a drink. I'll tell you a story. So the first time I came here, uh, we have this occasion every year in our fraternity called Others Day. It started before I was in the fraternity when I was a wee little boy, but uh, a few of the older guys in the fraternity would, um, during, it was the first Sunday of uh, December every year, would tell their girlfriends or wives, uh, hey, we gotta go shopping for you, so 
I'm gonna need this like Sunday off. You could shop, or can you watch the kids? If they had kids, I don't think anyone really had kids at that time. But basically, they were like, "Hey, we need a day to go shopping," and they would go to the mall on Long Island. But all the guys would tell their girlfriends and wives the same thing, and then they meet at the bar, and they would just they would shop for like ten minutes, or they already I think the goal was to already have a gift. But then to meet at the bar, and they would just have a fun day of drinking, catching up, kind of like their holiday party on official. So. Others Day evolved, and by the time I got in the fraternity, it became a tradition on the first Sunday of every, ever, the first Sunday in December every year. We'd take a train to the city, and we would do a bar crawl around the city. And my first one, we came to McSorley's about an hour six. We were out of our minds. But uh, I'll never forget, I think somebody was like, a bunch of guys had money, they were throwing it down, having a good time. And I think we ordered like 100 beers at once. We were like 50 like 50 bucks. And we just filled the bar with beers. It was one of the craziest memories. We were out of our minds. And that was my first memory from McSorley's. And uh, yeah, it's one that'll stick with me. It was a really good time. Thank you. All right, on to beer number two. Although, you can't really count these as beers. This is like eight ounces. Come on. But yeah, they've been around 169 years. Yeah, that's through Prohibition. A lot of history in these walls. You can see it all around me. Uh, big thanks. Let me just go back in the chat here, and then I'll catch up. But uh... oh, I wasn't caught up in the chat. I guess I was when I left the White Oak. I was caught up. Oh, again, big shout out to Bill. Uh, thanks, he's sending me some charges for approval. We have a ton of merchandise. Go check out adventuresbycarney.fun. We have a website, adventuresbycarney.fun, F-U-N. Uh, you can see uh, highlights from certain videos, events, pictures from events, and our merch is linked there. So if you want tank tops, t-shirts, hats, it's all there, pins. And we're gonna be adding to that as we go. Uh, are you stopping in Historic Valley Forge you were Izzo slept? I don't know, maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, and then, yeah, we talked about where to stay in the city. Again, just do your research and make sure you read the fine print. Because, again, when, when staying in New York City, it might look... It's too good to be true. It might be. Sometimes you find great deals. Like, I found beautiful hotel rooms for, like, $135, which is really cheap for the city. Typically, you're paying, like, $400, $600. That's why I say Manhattan and Disney are very similar. You can't do it all in one place, and it's all the same price. It's very expensive. Well, you pay for a beer here, you pay for a beer there. The same thing as a cocktail. Brenda, what's going on? Says, hello, watching uh, because uh, I'm in the GWB traffic. The GWB, for those who don't know, would be the George Washington Bridge, which is just north of us uh, going over the Hudson. I went over that four times in the last two weeks. But Dawn's is stuck in the office today, so I have to be tied up. Hello, friends. Great to see Dawn here. Hi, Dawn. Love Dawn. Love our whole, shout out to our whole Boston crew. We saw Grainy in here, Andrew in here. Um, Peach is Pete, we're coming in November and I still have everything mapped out. I will take your advice and not try to go to the Statue of Liberty since it takes the whole day. I want to say don't go. The Statue of Liberty is beautiful, but it is a big commitment. You have to take a ferry there. You have to walk around, you go up, you come down, you hang out, you take a ferry back. It does eat up about six hours uh, for those who want to go to the Statue of Liberty. Lauren's never been, so I want to take her one day too. John Thorne hanging out. Happy uh, Dawn is here. Thank you so much for posting the links. That's great. Uh, so, so I got the backpack on today. You headed to class after this? No doubt. Whenever I come to the city, I just have to have all my essentials. You know, I got chargers in here, a place to put the gimbal when we're done, a uh, change of clothes. I don't know if I'm staying in the city or staying in Long Beach or staying uh, in Suffolk County. There's a lot of question marks, so I just brought everything to be prepared. And a water bottle. Got to stay hydrated. Pete, is there a place that as soon as you enter, they know your name? Uh, here in the city? I mean, it's been a little bit. Back in the day when I used to sell beer in the city, yeah, there was a lot of places. But a lot of places change ownership and leases go up and the price of New York City is so expensive. Let me think. I'm sure there's at least one. There's got to be. But there used to be a lot more. Yes, please refresh. If we ever lose picture or the picture's blurry, just hit refresh, let me know. Brenda says, McSorley's, I haven't been there in 20 years, loved it here. Yeah, it's super cool. Again, and if you want all those links, 
Peaches was kind enough to post all of them right there. So if you want our Discord link, our Instagram, Twitter, um, they're all right here in the chat and down below in the description. Brandon says, what's your usual mix for all these order? Well, I just did it. Uh, I just went for two and two because they're small pours. So why not? Jim, what's going on? It says, East 7th. I'm glad I found it. Thank you. David as well. Brandon says, I'm team dark. Hey, I went for too light and too dark. David, mix early with the sawdust on the floor. I love the sawdust on the floor. I'll show you again in a second. Uh, if you are not drinking, they kick you out. That is true. That's why I'm drinking. Brendan says, uh, they can carry more glasses of beer than I've ever seen anyone handle. That is true. I only lifted up four before. Great to see David. Yeah, Dawn, it's not that much. I mean, it's a, probably a 10-ounce mug, and it's filled six to seven ounces. So... We're down to our last one. Irvin, what's going on? So save me a drink anytime. Mr. Dave says, this is fun, B. Thanks for sharing. I'm so glad you're enjoying it. Bill says, you're welcome to sleep over a private bath, need mattress cover, private room for Pete, Historic Valley Forge, if you want the comedy club. It's up to Lauren. I, well, I think we have to really move it because we are going to try and leave. We are going to do Father's Day on Saturday, but my nephew, my new nephew's surgery is uh, the big question mark. So I think we're doing, uh, this is my brother's first Father's Day and our first Father's Day without dad. We're gonna do a Father's Day um, lunch and then take off right away. Cause we are trying to get back by Monday night, worst case Tuesday in Orlando. It's looking like Tuesday because we leave on Sunday. We have to avoid 95 cause the whole collapse. And then also Lauren did want to visit her uh, best friend lives in Nashville. I've also never been there. So we might take the inward route and go towards Nashville. So we'll be going from Queens. Uh, we're doing we're doing lunch in Queens Sunday, and then heading. I'm just gonna put in towards Nashville. I think I looked it up. I think if I drive until like 10 at night or 11 at night, I'll probably be in the Roanoke area. And I know Roanoke well. I used to do business there when I at my other job. So I think we're probably gonna do the first night in Roanoke. Then book over to Nashville, spend the afternoon day there, and then most likely spend the night there, Nashville night two, and then try to get as far as we can to Orlando the next day. So Sunday night, Roanoke, Monday night, yeah, so Monday night would be in Nashville, and then try to get back to uh, Orlando Tuesday as fast as possible. I have work Tuesday night, so I have to be back. We'll see how it goes. Irvin, got to catch up with you. I'll be heading west the end of July. Yeah, we got to catch up, Irvin. Please. And you never sent me. I wish I'm, I want to come to some of your shows. If you have any shows with you now and when you leave, let me know. All right, we'll have this, and then we're going to keep this party going. I got a few other fun stops I want to show you. I mean, I have a lot more fun stops I want to show you, but this is McSorley's. We had to pop in the McSorley's. Irvin, let me know. You got to text me. All right, from here, just in case I get confused, the plan is to walk down towards 4th, and then we're going to head west across Noho, then cut down Broadway, and then cross either Houston or the, or the right below Houston. But we'll see. Yeah, the one right below house that has, I don't know if it's a speakeasy. I want to see if we can get in. Also, there's there's another speakeasy I want to take you to, too. A super secret one. It's inside of a hot dog stand. You have to go into the phone booth and dial the right number. It's kind of crazy. We'll see what happens. We're having some fun. We did it. All right. Farewell, McSorley's. Look at this place, sawdust on the floor. When you come in, you're sort of light or dark. That's all I got, all these mugs. A New York City landmark here, McSorley's Old Ale House. 
since 1854 with the sawdust on the floor. I cannot drink no more. My legs are so sore. I think we'll head down this corridor. Yeah, this is the right way for sure. I probably should have worked on my core. Now Lauren's gonna hear me snore. How long do you think I can keep this going? Lynette, how are you? Great to see you. I love New York. I love all you guys too. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't hit the like button, please do so. If you haven't subscribed, come on. Jump on in. Also, check out our Discord. Check out the Patreon program. I've been editing a video for the Patreon, so I might just do it into pieces as well. But it's kind of outtakes from other stuff we've recorded. I have a whole Ted Lasso outtakes video I'll be putting out for the Patreons as well as some other fun stuff from our trip that I don't know if we should post publicly. So when, when there's those situations, I save it for the Discord. I'm sorry, not the Discord, the Patreons. But also sometimes I drop some stuff in the Discord too. That's a cool little, I like this. The standard. Let's head this way. El Greito? El Greito? That's fun to say. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Hey, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Will you be mine? Love all the different buildings. Another new high rise going up. So many awesome neighborhoods and things to do. Wow, look at the size of that dog. Rosita, what's going on? We're here hanging out in NYC. We've just been making our way around the city. I've done two live streams from the city previously where I've gone more north of Penn Station or let's say east and north where I hit a lot of the famous landmarks like the Empire State Building, Radio City Music Hall, uh, Rockefeller Plaza, Times Square. So this time I did an opposite loop 
where we walked over to Hudson Yards. We saw the vessel. Then we took a little trip down the High Line, got off at Chelsea Market, explored Chelsea Market, walked around Chelsea into the village. And now we're in the village. We made a quick stop for a quick bite to eat. Went over to McSorley's. So we're having a good time. We've just been wandering around NYC. Having some fun together. People have suggestions. We pop in, trying to see what's on the route on the way. And Mama Carney has decided to join me. She's on the train. She pulls into Penn Station in about 15 minutes. Crystal Coachman, good afternoon. Great to see you. Is it blurry? Let me try and switch it up. Everyone, hold on. Hit refresh if you don't see anything. Let me try to switch it up so I can clear up this blur. How is it now? Better? We're walking south. We're going downtown. Bond Street. This is cool too. I love stuff like this. Like on that building right there. It's just what makes the city so cool. They're just everywhere you look. Again, I tell everyone, Walt Disney World and New York City are very similar. You gotta keep your eyes open, look around. You got fun facts everywhere. You got cool little things everywhere. There's too much to see and do. There's a different Disney for adults than there is for kids. And there's a different city for one group than there is for the other. They're very similar. And just like Disney, people wear outfits here. You will see. A lot of interesting outfits, just like the city. Here we are on Bleecker. The iconic Bleecker Street. Love Bleecker. Which means Houston should be next, and we're going to go the block after that. I do have to find a place that has Wi-Fi because I want to end this stream. I want to keep it going, but I do want to contact Mi Madre and see what her plan is, that whether I should start traveling north or if she's going to meet us down here. We're going downtown. Here we are at East Houston.
Broadway and Lafayette. Lafayette? Oh, that's a nice espresso machine in that little cart there. Might have to do an espresso later on. Pete Stummy in the house says, what up? Checking in on my way home, uh, my way to a gig. ABC takes over NYC. Hope to see you tomorrow. Me too, my man. Crystal says, yes. Let's go to the train station. Is it the train station? That is a huge clock in the front. That would be Grand Central. That's north of us, way up north. It got a little bit clearer. That's good. I mean, we're, uh, we're walking New York City, so the, I guess the signal changes. We're trying to uh, give you the best possible picture quality. I would say hit refresh. If it's still, if, it's, if it gets really bad, let me know. I'll just keep trying different things. But we have been live now for about 155 minutes. So two and a half hours just exploring NYC. A lot of coffee shops, a lot of coffee shops. That's what I love about New York City real estate too, is that like you're paying thousands of dollars a square foot, but then make it as minimalistic as possible. That's how you know you're legit, right? Let's cut down here. This looks like fun. We're now at Soho. driving in the city pressure for some but so much fun for me i remember i had to do it when i was a was i a senior in high school the first time i did it alone it was wild that'll teach you how to drive real quick Street Station. You can head uptown, go to Queens. Yeah, the R and the W. Streets are going to start to get a little more and more crowded now that it's Look at this dog. Gonna be popping to Prada. If you haven't hit that like button, please help me out. Hit that like button. Smash it. Smash it. And if you're new, consider subscribing. We would love to have you come be a part of the crew. We do a lot of travel videos, stuff like this. New York City, I'm in the theme parks a lot, but you are about to get a bunch of content from our 
trip up and down the East Coast. Lewis Vinton. Who's that? Paulo Ralph Puff Leroon. I don't know, these seem fancy. Can't even pronounce them. Hi. Hey. March Jacobs. Alessandro. <laughs> Rooster. I kind of love the blend of like cobblestone to regular street. Cobblestone, regular street. Coach, I can pronounce that. Here we are on West Broadway and Prince. For those keeping track at home. There we are getting closer to One World Trade. Thompson Street. All right, there's supposed to be something pretty cool over here. I'm not sure. I like it, some nice local art for sale. Artist right here painting. It's like Festival of the Arts at Disney. The Dutch, that was an old client of mine. Bar, restaurant, oyster room. Great oysters. Fantastic oysters.
think I might have passed what I was looking for. I think there's a speakeasy over here. Let's go look. I could be wrong, but, or could have gone out of business. But, let's see. Hmm. It's right around here. Unless it went out of business. Let's see. No, it's a coffee shop. What's this? Let's see if we get lucky. No, this doesn't look like it either. All right, I tried. I tried. They might have gone out of business. Oh, well. I have another destination, too. Anyway, there used to be a cool speakeasy over there. I haven't been really around my old route in this area since pre-COVID, so sadly, I think some things just didn't make it. Tough. I hate to see it. Little Prince. Like we're kind of back where we started. Remember we were over here earlier? If you're enjoying our little walk around New York City, please hit the like button. It does help. And if you're new, consider subscribing. All the other fun stuff and information about the channel, where to hang out. If you want to help out, hang out, just learn more about stuff, go check out the description down below. Barber Society. I think I'm thinking of another haircut before I leave. I got one the day I showed up, and my guy was not there again. I think he retired. So sad. I need to go across here. And again, closer to One World Trade right there. I think this is where I want to go. Let's see. I don't know. I think so. This looks like it's it. I've never been here. I heard good things. Yes, the Torch and Crown Brewing Company, a brewery in the middle of Manhattan. We gotta check it out. 
Let's go check it out. How's it going? Can I sit at the bar or hang out? Yeah, thanks. This is cool. Got some fermenters right up front. This is cool right in the middle of Manhattan. Some bright tanks right here in the middle. Looks like a full bar. Faux hops all around. Their logo. Let's uh, see if we find a quiet spot. Ooh, there's a cellar and brew house downstairs. Oh, it's a private event. I would love to see it. We might have to go down and check it out later. They also have an outdoor tented area just outside. Let's see what that looks like. That's cool. And some TVs. I like it, but I also like the air conditioning. All right, it's a good time for me to get some Wi-Fi. FaceTime my mom to see where she is and order a beer and catch up with all of you. How's it going? <laughs> Say it again? Yeah, that'd be great. You don't do flights by any chance, do you? We do, they're pre selected. Oh. Alright, never mind. Well, unless, I mean, I want to try all your IPAs and they're sour. Or do you do smaller pours? Alright, so I, I'm. Yeah. Alright, that's unfortunate. Um. Yeah, but I don't, I don't want to waste my time in the pills during the summer when I got those rotating. I want the rotators. Um, all right, I'll just try. I'll start with the uh, Polybius. Polybius?
All right, everybody. What's going on? All right, we're at another stop. We are here at the Torch and Crown Brewing Company. Uh, this was not around when I was here. I am honestly shocked to see a brewery in the middle of downtown Manhattan. Like, look at this. It's crazy. I'm also a little upset. I get it because it's also people are getting out of work. It's almost 5 o'clock, 4.51 here on the East Coast. So I get why they don't do flights. Uh, they have one pre-made flight, so just their flagships. But again, like if I go to a brewery, it's the last thing I usually do because I can always have them. I'd rather do the rotating stuff or some of the weirder stuff because I want to try that while it's only available now, you know? It's like uh, I can come back in a few months and have those. But I went with, I wish I could try. There was five beers I wanted to try. But I went with the one I was most excited about. This is a West Coast IPA. It is, uh, let's see what it's on this menu so I can tell you about it. It is. So it's the uh, Polybius, or Polybius. It's a collab uh, with Hen House Brewing. I don't know where that is. But it's a sharp and zippy with notes of citrus and a softer mango finish. All right, let's give it a shot. Cheers. Happy, happy hour. Happy Thursday. Also good news, mom arrived. And the second phone does get Wi-Fi. So I'm messaging her now. I just asked her if she wants to see a Broadway show or a comedy show or should I come up to her? Does she want to come down here? We'll find out. I also tried to look up tickets, but the phone's not that advanced. Old iPhone, only on Wi-Fi. There's no cell service. Except when I hang out with you guys. Steven Noon, fun fact. First of all, great to see you, Steven. Uh, it says, Torch the third most common name of pubs in the UK. You know what one and two are? Rose and Crown. There you go, Lynette. Since all these people are drinking, I don't think about having a bourbon and ginger ale. Not at all, we're drinking together. He just says, remember when you met your mom the last time in New York City on the stream, you all had tacos in a cute little place, and it was uh, very cold that trip, it was. Also, we had an epic rock, paper, scissor battle. We might have to do it again. We went like, I think nine times in a row at a tie, and nine, it's wild. We still laugh about it in the family. Susan, great to see you. This is hi, Pete, enjoy your time at home. Thank you so much. See you later, Brianna, great to see you. Hi, Rosita. Rosita, thanks for the super chat. That's so kind. So stay safe and have wild fun. All I got time for today, Pete. Catch you again. Happy Father's Day weekend. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the super chat. It means so much. Seriously, that's very nice. Thank you. So like I was just mentioning, right now we are on the corner of 6th Avenue and Van Damme. So if there's anything around this area that you would like to go see or want me to go check out, I'd be happy to go check it out for you. Otherwise, we're just gonna kind of wander and check out cool, fun spots. I want to check out this brewery. A lot of people know I love breweries. And I can't believe there's one right here in the middle of downtown New York. It's wild. Also, we're keeping the stream going. I think it's just fun, right? We're having a good time. We haven't seen each other in so long. What am I missing? I feel like I have so much to tell you. They also have food here. They have, uh, let's see. They have flatbread, soft pretzels, spicy wings, Russell sprouts, fried calamari, lamb meatballs, Caesar salad, a salumi board, a fried chicken sandwich, a Cuban sandwich, very short rib sandwich, the Lou burger, hanger steak, ooh. Fish and chips, a smoked mushroom sandwich, and then they have a, wow, for $125, they have a 28 day dry aged tomahawk. It serves two to four people, and you have to allow 45 minutes for it to cook. $125, wow. Everything else I would say about Manhattan prices, anything from 10 to 25, depending on what I just listed. So you could assume what's what. 
their draft list, all their own beers, which is great. There's a bunch I want to try. Wait, what's the Get Funky? This is cool. Blue. Expert Ambassador. Oh, well, two of the ones I wanted there, too. Uh, I wanted two from the Get to Know Us and two from the Get Funky. I wish I could have done that. I'm gonna ask them, because they have two flights, and two that I want are on one, two that I want on the other, and it's the same exact price. I have a question. So I see you have two beer flights, and they're the same exact price. Yeah. So if I wanted to do two from one and two from the other, can I do that? In theory. I just wanted to try five and I got one here, but I'm just trying to figure out a way to try all the beers. Oh, okay. Well, that works then. What's your favorite beer? Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I like that too. We'll try it. Mom wrote back. Thanks. Cheers. This is the almost famous. That's good. It's uh, she said it was juice bomb. It has juice up front, more of that pine finish. So if you ever had an IPA, if you're an IPA drinker, more of that pine in the finish. Which is the hops they use? Awesome. It's a good session. Yeah. I know, that's good. And this is the which one? Oh, okay, nice. Thank you so much. That's good too, it's a lager. Here's between a lager and ale. Lagers are brewed cold. Ales are brewed warm, uh, which is why it's very hysterical for those who ever see the Coors Light commercials where they say brewed cold. All lagers are brewed cold. So it's, of course they're brewed cold. But that's very good, and then it, uh, so it's a lager with mosaic hops. Mosaic's a very, uh, this is gonna sound silly, but a hoppy hop. It's got that uh, IPA taste to it, and that is good because it's a lager that tastes like an IPA, almost like an IPL. Sometimes you see the India, uh, India Pale Lager. That's good though, it's better than that. Sorry, I'm messaging my mother. She wants to know if she should come here or I should go there. Mom is entering the, mom's entering the chat, entering the stream.
is a good spot for her to come find me. I got beers, she can order a cocktail. It could work out. Uh, good for right now, thanks. Yeah. You know what I should do? Charge the phone. If you're just joining us, hey, what's going on? We're here at Torch and Crown, uh, right here in downtown Manhattan. We're on 6th Avenue in Van Damme. Uh, I'll give you a little view of the brewery if you haven't seen it. I have never been here. It's crazy that they have a brewery here in Manhattan. I mean, yeah, there's some up north towards the Bronx uh, where there's more room, and there's some in Brooklyn and Queens, obviously a lot in Brooklyn and Queens. But in downtown Manhattan, where real estate is bonkers, the fact that they have a brewery here, I mean, again, with vaulted ceilings, it's a beautiful place. An event, and there's also an event space downstairs and the outside tented area, which you can see right on the other side of this wall. This is pretty incredible. And the beer's pretty good. I, I mean, I would expect it to be. I, I mean, when you first hear about a brewery in Manhattan, you wouldn't expect it to be, but then, they're gonna spend all this money on the place. The beer's gonna be good. I'm, I'm surprised, the beer's very good. Let's see if uh, Madre is gonna meet us down here or if we have to go up north. No way it's good. So what's going on in the chat? Oh, Lynette says we missed you, Pete. Thanks, Lynette. I missed you guys, honestly, I really have. Did everybody miss the recap? My mom is answering encrypted messages. I was like, do you want me to come to you? Do you want to come to me? And she wrote, okay. Yeah, it does seem like they're doing well in it. Um, I've missed all of you so much. Uh, so we started recording our road trip. Lauren did a lot of the recording. Sorry, I thought I was going to sneeze and I held it in. Um, and we, we went up, we stopped in Charleston, we stopped in uh, Jacksonville, made a few stops. We just made some fun stops along 95, spent our, I think our first night we spent in North Carolina, then went up, pushed through to Atlantic City, got to see Kenny Siraki, Patreon member, shout out to Kenny, and we got to see Ox, another Patreon member, shout out to Ox and my boy. Uh, we had a great night in Atlantic City, and then we made the drive up from Atlantic City towards the campground of state. On the way, we got to see John Thorne, also a Patreon member. Shout out to John Thorne. Uh, then we went camping up state. We had no cell service. Again, we were recording content for all of this, but I wasn't able to do anything with it because half was on Lauren's phone, half was on mine. We had no service up state. And then when we got back, Lauren had to go to school. She was actually working these two weeks in New York. And then I was only home for two days, and then I had to leave. I drove my car then back to Pittsburgh for a bachelor party for my buddy. Eight of us went to uh, Pittsburgh. Wild time, but again, no time to edit. But I did film a bunch. Got back, had to drop everyone off. Got back Monday. Uh, I think I got my first real night of sleep either Monday or Tuesday night. And then finally started editing Wednesday, yesterday. So I got a Ted Lasso out uh, and I started editing our trip. And I finally got the videos from Lauren. So. It's gonna take a while to edit. We're bringing it into pieces, but there's gonna be a lot of travel content, a lot of fun stuff, a lot of cool brewery content if you're into breweries. Uh, just general fun travel vlog. So that all that will be coming your way, and then we're back in Florida. Uh, I'm hoping Tuesday. That's the plan. And then we're gonna to get to see so many people. Andy and Annette will be there. Kenny Siraki will be there. Uh, the return Ray Hamilton, MK. Rocketeer lady that will be in town. Lauren will be home. She'll be off from school. So it's going to be wild. And I'm back to work. So I'll be in the theme parks for the day, DJing at night. Busy schedule. Thank goodness. I could use the money. But it's gonna, it, this trip has been crazy. Just draining the bank account. But I'm having a great time. And uh, yeah, hopefully it produces a bunch of fun content that you guys will all enjoy. So, And I, ha I wanted to go live today. I wanted to do at least a live video sometime this week. Tomorrow I have a stand-up comedy show in Long Island at St. Joseph's University in Patchogue. So, uh, in their playhouse. So today was the only day to go live and I want to hang out with all of you. And then when I knew I was coming to the city, I hit my mom up who works in this school. I said, mom, when you get out of work, do you want to come to the city, go see a show, we need to hang out more. So she said yes, so she just arrived in Penn and I think she's making her way downtown. Making her way downtown.
should I stay here or move? All right, mom's coming here. There we go. So what's going on with all of you? Any questions? Anything I should be caught up on? Once again, make sure you check the description down below for all the socials, the Patreon, the uh, Discord, all the fun stuff down. And also, Pete just put it up in the chat, a few messages up. Cheers, everyone. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, and it's 5 o'clock here in New York. Hey, how about that? I can't tell you what a full night's sleep meant last night. I know I probably looked the sound, sound still tired, but I was only on like four to five hours every night, some less, some three to five hours every night from last Tuesday until yesterday, so over a week. So I felt so good today. But also I was injured, so today's the first time I'm actually walking pretty well, I'm not hobbling around. If you haven't hit the like button, please hit the like button. We gotta try to get to 100. Come on, let's go. Sorry, I'm reading the menu. Let's charge the phone while we wait for mom. She's making her way downtown. How did I get injured? Honestly, so here's the crazy part. I don't know. Um, there was, we're giant children, even though we're all in our 30s, and some guys in their 40s on the bachelor party. Um, there was some some wrestling. There was some uh, physical contact. We're a bunch of, like, kids. When we get together, we are like brothers when we get together. Um, I thought I was fine, but I woke up, I think it was Friday or Saturday, might have been Friday. And it felt like my Achilles, you know like the back of your foot's the Achilles, right? It's like a rubber band. It felt like there was no rubber band. It was a steel rod. So every time I moved my foot at all, the back of it felt like I was trying to pull steel instead of like that rubber band motion. It was so painful. So I hobbled around. Luckily, Pittsburgh had scooters everywhere. I scooted all over that city. I had so much fun. You'll see a lot of scootering videos, trust me. Uh, but we didn't know what it was, and then it hurt for about five days. Yesterday, it went not completely away, but like down to like 5% pain as opposed to like full pain. But then the knee in that leg hurt, and I was like, probably because I was overcompensating. So this morning I woke up, and I was like, as long as I feel like 60%, I'm going to New York to do a live stream. And I felt good enough to do a live stream this morning, so I got, a. Uh, I did a little bit of editing in the morning, packed a bag just in case I didn't know where I was staying tonight. I still don't know where I'm staying tonight. Uh, then I had to, you know, pack, a, pack the car, packed a bag, jumped in the car, got to the Long Island Railroad, and then took the hour and 20 minute train ride in. And then we did a live stream. Made a thumbnail, put it up. I wasn't able to, uh, like, do all the tags and everything else, so you guys hitting the like button really helps, sharing it really helps. Uh, and if you're a new subscriber, that really helps because I wasn't able to do all the things because I didn't have my laptop with me. It's back at Lauren's house. So it's just a willy-nilly live stream. Willy-nilly. That's probably why, we, you know, we've had pretty, uh, let's say, like a low average count all day of people watching. But I know the number will be bigger by the time the, the video's over. And then replays and whatnot. And then once mom shows up, big numbers. Big numbers. Let me ask her what she wants to drink. She needs a drink. Oh, Subway. What is she, what is she doing? It's 
take the C or E to Spring Street. She's asking me now, what cocktail or what cocktail wine or beer would you like? Probably should eat something else too. So I'm just drinking all these great high percentage beers and had a, and had two sliders. So Lynette's answer a question. I don't really know how I got injured, but something happened. It's a weird injury. I don't know. Uh, Lauren tried to play doctor. We we think it might be maybe dehydration. Uh, it could be just not stretching. It could be because I played a ton of pickleball four days earlier for the first time, and I was playing for five, six hours at a time. Obsessed with pickleball. Cannot wait to play pickleball when I get back to Florida. If anyone ever wants to play, let me know. And now I just found out pickleball is at Old Key West Resort. So I'll be playing pickleball at Old Key West, I'm hoping at least once a week. Also, I think Celebration, which is a town right by Disney, they have their own pickleball league. I'm gonna try and get in that. I'm obsessed. But it's a great workout, but that could be it too, is that I'm just not used to stopping on a dime, turning around. I'm just like, I used to play tennis. My workouts now are more like with my trainer. Coach, what's going on? Says, hey Pete, great to see you, coach. Glad you're here. We're hanging out in New York City at Torch and Crown Brewing. lovely day. I hope you are too. I hope you had a great Thursday. If you're on the East Coast, maybe you're getting off of work. If you're on the West Coast, hopefully you're just pushing through. you got a few more hours left. If you're watching over in Europe like Brandy, you're enjoying the evening. You're having a great time. I think I'm ready for another beer. I think I'm going to do this. Rainbows everywhere. Listen to this description for this beer. It's called Rainbows Everywhere. Notes of pineapple, which I like. Fresh squeezed orange juice, which I love. And gummy bears. What? Yeah, I think it's the next beer. I have to check all these in too. I have it untapped. If you guys are untapped, come check out untapped. So yeah, we've been walking around New York. If you're just joining us now, we're just taking a little break, a little breather, staying stationary, you're gonna have a beer. Mom is gonna join us here. She's taking the subway down. The subway lets out less than a quarter block away. She's not answering anymore, so I'm assuming she's in the subway tunnel. But yeah, let's just chat. I, I miss all of her. Let's put this right there. All right, rainbows everywhere. New England IPA. Shout out to the New England crowd. You know who you are. If you're not following the socials, at your WDW guy on Twitter. Adventures by Carney is the TikTok. Adventures by Carney's Patreon. But the thing I update the most is the Instagram, at official Carney. Go check it out. And see what we got online. Diz Mom 7 says, hi, I'm new here. How's New York City going? I'm a former Long Islander, now living in Florida. Me too, Diz Mom 7. So I grew up in Long Island my entire life. Moved down to Orlando four years ago. I live about 10, 15 minutes from Disney. 
and we are on a nice two and a half week trip. We drove from Florida all the way up the coast, went camping upstate, came down, hung out on Long Island. Then I went to Pittsburgh for a best party, came back. I'm on Long Island all this week, and then we're driving back to Florida starting Sunday afternoon. Uh, and Lauren, uh, who's been a teacher on Long Island, my other half, has been working at her old school district for the last two weeks, subbing, making a, you know, she's making money on this vacation, and I'm not. Where on Long Island are you from, Diz Mom? Let's see, Sandwich Time says, I tore my ACL playing pickleball, my children just laughed at me, refused to help, had to curl to phone. That's terrible, but I can totally see how you did it. I was all over that court. I'm obsessed with pickleball. I felt it. I could barely walk when I left the campground. But I love it. I mean, like I said, I played tennis for years. Uh, my mom and brother actually run the Central ISA Community Tennis Association, which was started when I was only in the eighth grade. Look at that. Or maybe seventh grade, seventh grade, great. That's why I started playing tennis. Uh, I played hockey my whole life. Hockey was kind of my sports in the second grade. But I uh, really loved tennis, and then when they started the program, uh, played tennis all throughout um, middle school, high school, and then started teaching it uh, when I lived on Long Island in my mom's community tennis association. She didn't start it, she started as a secretary because they needed a secretary or a treasurer. And then they, the guy who started it like wanted to walk away, so my mom jumped in and she's been running it for the last, yikes, 20 years, maybe more. I know my brother Brian, my youngest brother, a great tennis player. He uh, he runs it a lot of it himself and helps my mom out a lot. Does a lot of that stuff. And he was the only one who was able to beat me in pickleball while we were on our vacation. But then again, he plays tennis all the time and he is very good. He is nasty. But I got us down to like I think he won by like two or three points in pickleball. I love pickleball. I'm obsessed. Up, oh, mom is messaging me. Oh, I, my mom is so funny. I hope she's watching. I love my mom so much. I wrote my mom a bunch of messages and she wrote back about how to get here, where to go, what time she coming, if she wanted something to drink, all these things. And she wrote, let's see, something's refreshing. And I thought like her phone was refreshing or she's trying to refresh like how to get here. It makes sense when I asked her what kind of drink she wanted. She said, let's see, something refreshing. She likes fruity cocktails. Let's find her something. We'll get her something. Good. When I order my beer, we'll order her cocktail. Mom's from Massapequa, so my mother is from. My mom grew up, we used to go to All American. Says I miss Long Island this summer. Yes, yeah, the best time to be here. We've had a great two weeks, but I do miss Orlando. I know I'm gonna come back, it's gonna be so hot, but I don't know. Like it rained here the other night, and I'm like, oh, I miss rainstorms like on the balcony in Florida. I miss all the people and the food. If I could just take one thing, although. This is what happens. This is my like fifth trip to New York so far this year. And this is why I'm as heavy as I am. I think I've literally gained 10 to 12 pounds since I've been home. It's just been nonstop Italian, bagels, sushi, eating everything in sight. Susan said, just booked a Walt Disney World trip in September uh, and December. Nice, love that. Man, those Christmas party, oh yeah, the Christmas party prices are out of control. Uh, and the Hollywood Studios After Hours party sounds cool too. It was just announced, but it's very pricey. I want to see what they're going to offer. Uh, we'll see. But yes, I was very excited. For those who don't know, if you follow any Walt Disney World news, <coughs> they normally have a party at the Magic Kingdom. It's a great party. It runs a long, long time. It's a lot of fun. Personally, I love the Halloween party. The Halloween party a little bit more. But the Christmas party is a lot of fun, and we go every year. Very merry Christmas party. But now they're bringing back after hours events at Disney's Hollywood Studios 
and they're doing a private ticketed event for a holiday party at Hollywood Studios. I think they're going to bring back Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam. Uh, there's rumors they may bring back Streamosphere. They'll definitely do the Tower of Terror, changing colors and whatnot. But we'll see. I don't know. Is it worth the ticket price? We shall wait and see. I think I have to do it for the channel. If you guys want to see it, we'll go do it. And yes, Massapequa, All American is the best. I love All American. For those who don't know, and you're not from Long Island, it's a very small bubble. But All American, uh, my mom actually dated one of the All American boys back when she was in high school. Big throwback. We'll talk to her about it when she gets here. But it's a awesome burger fry shake joint, and they have kept their prices low from day one. Like back in the day, they used to do like you know fifty cent dollar sandwiches. Now they're still though, they're like two bucks for a cheeseburger, two dollars for a shake. Like the most expensive thing is probably like three or four dollars on their entire menu. And the food is awesome, it's a super cool, it just feels like you're going back in time. And it's delicious and it's fun. Families from all over Long Island travel there. And it's right in Massapequa. I think she dated Danny. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see, let's see, let's see if I listen to my mother. When she gets here, we'll ask. You will all be impressed with this. See, Mom, I listened. I listened about the men you dated before Dad. <laughs> when you told me to be quiet or go to my room, never listen. What else we got going on? Feel free to shoot away some questions here in the chat while we hang out, wait for mom to show up. But then we're gonna keep it moving. We'll, ha we'll have some fun, see where mom wants to go, go somewhere. And we'll keep the stream going for as long as we can. And then mom and I probably want some private time. I haven't caught up with mom in a long time. Maybe what I'll do is I'll go to the restroom now and see if I can trust this camera. Seems like a good group, seems like a good group. Yikes. Where's your restaurant?
I just realized there's chargers under the bar. All right, let's see. Stephen says, uh, The Muppet Show in the Theater of the uh, Stars and the Jazz Lounge at uh, Hollywood Brown Derby. There's only 10 dates for Jollywood Nights. They're going to sell out quickly. So, well, what is the Muppet Show going to be? And what's going to go on in the Jazz Lounge? I just want more information. For those who don't know, we're talking about Disney while we're here in New York City. There's a lot of, there's a lot of similarities. We were thinking about on the way home doing the, um, there's a Disney uh, exposition in Philadelphia, but now that I-95 collapsed just outside uh, Philadelphia, we're going to have to pass it. Bad beat. Let's see if we can get, all right, I'm going to get the rainbows everywhere. We're getting mom something fresh, refreshing, and I'm going to get water. Help me, I'm thirsty. I just want water. Water, no ice. And Stephen Newton is the MVP, one of the many travel agents you can find. If you have any kind of questions about planning a trip to any of the theme parks around Florida, or maybe just a vacation anywhere in the world, we have four, I think now five, amazing travel agents in our Discord. Um, I just send people to all of them. I get my sense of urgency from. Uh, my mom got in at 4.45. It's 5.30. She's not here. I would have been like, come on, you got to move, move, move. Yeah, Jamie, that's why I said five. We have five travel agents now. Christina G, what's going on? Says, how's Long Island? It's going great. I'll tell you all about it once I get to try to water, but I'll tell you all about it in a second. We got nothing but time right now. We're going to order another beer. A mama drink and a water. How's it going? When well, you're not busy, I can use a couple of beverages. Uh, I'm gonna do your rainbows everywhere. Uh, water. 
And then my mom is on her way. She likes fruity and refreshing cocktails. You can do with that whatever you will. She like drinks, she's like a Malibu drinker, one of those. I know. But if you have anything like a little on the sweeter side or refreshing side, she'll drink it. And I trust her. There we go. They have no Malibu or fruity rums, which is fine. Because my mom should expand her her realm a little bit. But yeah, my mom is like one of those. It's so funny. I think because my mom never had the college experience, she just lives it the whole time. Like Malibu all day. But she knows what she likes, and honestly, it's cute. Hopefully she makes it here. She got in at 4.45, it's 5.32. I'm hoping when she pops out of the subway, she knows to walk this way and over. All right, this is the rainbows everywhere. Cheers. It's good. It's good. Oh no! Breaking news from Susan. Christine McCarthy is stepping down as CFO from Disney. McCarthy, uh, for those who don't know, really held it down for a long time at CFO. I think she was at uh, Lucasfilm for a while, I think. I had to do my research. Christina says, my aunt lives in Plainview. I know Plainview very well. Nassau County. Plainview's, uh, let's see, so Jamie, the new travel agent we were just talking about, let's see if she ever watches this. Her daughter was just here in the chat. She lives probably in between Plainview and where I used to live on Long Island. She's in Huntington. I also used to live in Huntington, too. I lived all over Long Island. I lived in Central Iceland, Port Joe, Setauken, Ronkonkoma, Huntington, East Iceland. I think that's it. I think that's it. What else do you got going on? If you guys have anything you want to talk about, we're here hanging out. Oh, and they're in Bayville, too. Uh, love Bayville. We used to go there for the haunted houses. Bayville used to have some really cool haunted houses during the Halloween season. I don't know what's going on with this right now. It looked really good this morning, and so I didn't wear a hat. I have a hat in the backpack. But I'm just, I'm just letting it fly free. At least she forgot about my water or drink. Or she just knew I needed that beer. We'll find out. Stay tuned. Bartender is back. Lynette, you're looking good, Pete. Thanks. I mean, I was trying. We're trying. I mean, good with a caveat. It looked good this morning. I really I felt confident walking out of the house. I was like, oh, yeah. Like, whatever's going on here. But it's not going on anymore. I didn't do any product, though, because I know we'll be walking around. Also, I mean, I'm wearing sleeves. What's going on? If you're new here, once we get back to Disney Parks, we're going tank top for days. I can't believe it feels like it's 100 degrees in Orlando right now. It makes me kind of happy I'm here in New York. But even here, walking around 80, at least there's a breeze. There's a sign over there. My mom is here. Let's move this over here. She arrived. I 
sound good? We're live on camera. Oh, come on, jump in. Everyone wants to say hi to you. I was using this phone to message you, so I'm like, I can only message. So I said, Mom, fruity and refreshing. They're working out. Are you talking about a beer or are you talking about a drink? Do they have drinks here? They do. They don't have like the rum that you normally drink. So we're going to mix it up a little bit and give you a new, something new and refreshing. I don't know. They also have that. Do you like, um, I was looking over here. Do you like strawberries? What? All right. Never mind. Um, I don't know. Anything. Do you have like a, anything with a pineapple juice you can make? I mean, yeah, I mean, I think something, you like things with pineapple juice, something that could be fun with that. This is what I can make up here. Uh, what gins do you have? I know, but there's some ones that you might like. Depend. I mean, I know it is a bad reputation, but if you have a good gin, like if that's very like juniper front, like depends. I was just asking. Maybe something like a uh, vodka pineapple with something else. We can move here. I figure you will we'll have one drink and then we'll go. How does work? So glad to be done. Everything's done. Is that for the year? No, no. The graduation tomorrow. Oh. But then you're done? One more week. Four days next week. Then mom is done with school. Everyone missed you. They said they liked you on the last New York City stream. Um, we have to, at some point tonight, before we end the stream, do a rock, paper, scissors, just to see what happens. Um, what show do you want to see? Do you want to see Broadway, comedy, what do you want to do? But do you have, do you have the Today Tick Tock? Yeah, let's see. Today Ticks? There's an easy to get off the subway right here, right? Yeah. Spring Street CD. Yeah. Is that little Liam? Oh my gosh, wait. Pull up a good picture of Liam. Let's show the stream. My nephew is the cutest. I have a whole video dedicated to him coming out soon. Is your home screen a map? Look at my mom's first grandchild, my first real nephew, because I have a t Uncle Pete to everybody, but look at this guy. <laughs> Thank you so much. I guess probably for water. He's the cutest. Um, do you have the Today Ticks? I have one open. Uh, Carney, C A R N E Y. Adventures by. Kimberly Akimbo won like every freaking Tony. Did you watch the Tony? I didn't, I just saw the highlights. Yeah. yeah. Peggy's friend, uh, Kevin, who was in charge of the Covenant House. Yeah. He had four different, he four different shows. No way. Yeah. He or was, uh, he was um, on stage the night I went to the Covenant House and I didn't have Yeah. Now he left the Covenant House and now he's a producer. Wow. So my aunt used to work for Covenant House, my aunt Peggy, my mom's sister. Um, and then I was a supporter, I still am, I'm a supporter of Covenant House, it's an amazing charity. You should look it up. Cheers, so great having you here. Um, 
And one of the things we got to do, we were very lucky, is uh, my mother and I got to go to Covenant's House big charity event for the year here in New York, A Night of a Thousand Night Stars. A Night of Broadway Stars. A Night of Broadway Stars. Yeah. And the stars of all these Broadway shows come and perform a song on stage. Uh, you get to hang out with some of them afterwards. Um, and Kevin, who I met, apparently left Covenant House and now produces shows. My Aunt Peggy retired as well, but she's still involved. But I have a, I think I'm on one of the like, automatic every month. But Covenant House, an amazing charity. Go check it out, go look it up. Um, but anyway, you have the app? Oh, go look at the app. I can't use it because it's on the phone. We have so many screens, it's out of control. I know, but it's much less than it used to be. It's literally out of control. All right, let's see if we can sort this or filter it. Anyone know any good Broadway shows we should see, we sh should see tonight? I know you really want to see that. <laughs> No, that looks awesome. I love yeah, Queen. I love Queen, too. Queen? I love Queen. I think it's at the Carnegie Hall. Queen by Candlelight at Carnegie Hall? Yeah. Oh my god, this this is a must do. Is it tonight? Yeah, starting. No, it's not even open there. yet. That's why I have to put on the filters. Where's the filters? It has to be for tonight and still available. Uh, here we go. Date. Apply. Musicals, obviously. Wait, have you ever seen The Office? That is so good. You saw the show? Lauren and I went and saw the, the oh, The Office on Off Broadway, yeah. Oh, wow. But you, if, you wouldn't enjoy it as much if you didn't see the show. All right, let's see. All right, so. coming up for tonight at least. It's hard because it's later in the day. Not here. Only 12 shows for tonight. Off Broadway is so hit or miss. You know what? You know what is playing tonight in Queens? I almost bought a ticket. I'm glad you came in. I'm glad I didn't buy anything because I almost bought a single ticket to like three different shows. But I'm like, maybe Mom will come in. Is that there's a comedy show in Queens? So I'm not gonna do it. But there's a comedy show in Queens. It's so funny. They do a thing called it's an improv group that's called. They pick a movie. They do it like once a month, and they call it whatever the movie is by memory. So tonight is. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean by memory. And how it works is the 12 improv actors show up. They're allowed to watch the movie the night before. They show up, they get assigned parts randomly that night, so they don't know which character they're gonna play, and they have to do the entire movie from memory. I know, that's why it's a comedy improv show. Then there's four moments where someone in the audience gets a horn. And on the horn, if you honk a horn, they have to break the scene and do a deleted scene from the movie off to the side that has never been seen but still makes sense for the movie and then go back into the movie four times. Wow. This is crazy. It sounds hysterical to me, like the way, and I'm missing some parts, but like, just because of like how much I love improv and even like the Orlando improv scene, I can only imagine like some of the best improv in Orlando trying to do a movie from memory with a random part assigned, and all they have is a box full of wigs and random costumes, and they have to do the whole movie from start to finish in two hours. Wow. It sounded hysterical. Uh, none of these seem to be anything good. The other option we have, like I said, is I know there's three good comedy shows nearby we can walk to. No, like A list comics. Like, I mean, they might be dirty and gross, but there's several comics, but. The comics when they tour by themselves, like Lauren and I have seen some of them, are hundred dollar tickets by themselves. But instead of also paying hundred 
$20 a ticket, we can go to two different comedy shows at two different locations for 20 bucks each. But like, you're talking A-list comics. If you want to do it. Or we can do some other off-Broadway stuff. Or do you want to look at that app for Saturday and come in with Lauren? At night too? Like, in, throughout the night? Well, I was saying is, what if Lauren and I came in and met you in the city? You have it here, right? No, I saw my screen in Oh, I thought it was here in the city. I in my house for the whole weekend. Yeah, and I I'm taking off tomorrow night to go to the show. You don't have to do that. I know, I don't have to, but I want to. She's taking off tomorrow to go to the comedy show at St. Joseph's University. I'm performing live. Come check it out. But you know, I get it's probably, yeah. I was say, or expert splash of cran. What? Cranberry. Oh, Might cut that. Bitterness? Yeah. My man, can I ask you a favor? Can you just put a splash of cranberry in this? Thank you so much. We got a first timer, just turned 21. Yeah. Happy birthday. Yeah, look at that. Yep. You're celebrating your 20, your, I won't say your year, your real age, but let's say you were 42. It would be the 21st anniversary of your 21st birthday. Yeah, you're 42, right? Yeah. That means I'm young. You are very young. I'm 21, baby. Let's see if we have any questions from the crowd. A lot of people saying hello to mama. Um, Lynette, Nate, Christina, Dawn, Sarah, Susan. Uh, Dawn says, so damn cute. Sounds like a rhyme. We don't get a lot of mother-son time. Only live on streams in New York City. It's unbelievable. That's all. Come you gotta take it as you get it. Yeah. You did raise a child that liked being the center of attention. Really? Did I ever put on shows? Never. Did I, was I ever in shows? No. Very interesting. I did say that I was a musical theater earlier in the stream, but I never mentioned how many shows I put on at home. Oh my god. So many. Endless. I had two stages in our house. We had a bay window in our living room. When I was still small enough to fit in it, we had a bay window at the stage. And we had the curtains would be our actual curtains. And we would use the coffee table as our step-down tier. Then we outgrew that, we went to the basement, and we had a drop ceiling. So you could tuck sheets into the drop ceiling, and we created wings. And we would have full shows in the basement with wings and like six different ways to enter. Anything we could find, we would do. Uh, my favorite, which is another Disney reference for those one of when I lifted Brian up in the circle of life in the bay window. Yeah. See, where I'm normally like, hey, add more vodka or tequila. Yeah. She goes, I'll take more juice. I know. That's always what I do. Yeah, it's a brave new world. Ah, there it is. Um, so one of the shows I'm going to get a list for, it's sold out, but if you show up and get on a list, most likely they'll let you in. The first one's at 7. So we can walk over there, put our name on the list, hang out. It's five. I have to eat. Do you want to eat here or do you want to go somewhere else? And also, if you don't want to eat here, what are you in the mood for? I'll start looking stuff up.
Uh, she worked, and then she's had. She's literally making more money on this trip. All the money I'm losing, she's she's gonna go home with more money than she spent. She did two weeks of stubby in Miller Place. Yeah. It's literally her two weeks there will be a month pay of her being a teacher in Florida. Wow, that's ridiculous. And she gets to hang out with all of her old friends. Her principal loves her. We brought her principal craft beer, and he was so excited. I tell her, like, ah, we don't need coverage for a little bit, so if you want, go take a long lunch. Or walk around, see people until we need you. Like, it's just great. Um, all right. Let's see if we can find anything over here. What, who, what, is there a certain kind of food you're in the mood for? Do you want to sit down? Do you want something casual, quick, quick, casual, fancy? Anything you're in the mood for? Salmon? What casual place has salmon? How about, uh, casual. I'll have salmon. A grilled chicken. Let me find a Long John Silver. How about a grilled chicken salmon? A grilled chicken salmon? Oh. Not fried, nothing fried. I know, I'm, I'm with you, I don't like fried either. That's so funny. Just something casual, salmon. Let's see what we got here, what's this place? Super. I'm just seeing their menu is any good. I'm not gonna recommend it until I see it. I know. So excited. Did we come here last time? No, it's brand new. I've never been here. They never had a brewery here. That's why I came here. A lot of corners in New York. Um, oh, this would be nice. Let's see if they have salmon. It's so funny, it describes us as a casual seafood restaurant, which again doesn't sound like it's going to be good. Uh, I'm looking around, hold on. This could be your jam. Let's see. The first picture is salmon. Places too are sushi and uh, places you don't do sushi anymore. Right? We just did it the other night. Oh, yeah, right. Because I searched places with salmon. No, it's just, it's good for you. That's good. I agree. But I can do a burger. Show the people. Look how cute Liam is. It's my nephew, my mom's first grandchild. Let's see if I can get it framed right. Look at this guy. He's the cutest. There's a a Greek place. Okay, never mind. No Greek. It's all Greek to me. You know one of my favorite Ted Lasso jokes? I've been doing Ted Lasso videos at Disney. Is I was in France and I said, uh, you know what I just learned? French fries aren't fried in France. They're fried in Greece. Let's see what this place is. 
This is Italian. Alright, let's see. Um, Huh, let's see. No, that's cuter. I mean, for today. It's like Bob and Karen were there today. Oh, that's nice. I feel like I'm tired of you. He is so exhausted. Honestly, this place might be good. It's called Bats. It's an elegant European bistro. Where is it? A block away. And the menu? Pretty elegant, pretty European, very bistro-like. Have you had a ramen? I ate all of that ramen. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's a little pricey. Let's see what we got here. Let's read the reviews. Uh, one of their beers? They make the beer here. Amazing. Want to try it? it? This is called Rainbows Everywhere. It's supposed to be pineapple, orange juice, and gummy bears. It's, not, it's an IPA. Bats, bats. The reviews are mixed. Some people love it, some people say it's meh. Let's see, people might be commenting what's good. Hi, Kelsey. A lot more people saying hello to you as well. Mama's here. Oh, Dawson Marks, did you date Danny? Who'd you date from All American? Who was All American? Mary. Who? Mary. Oh, you dated a guy from All American. No, Mary did. I thought you did. No, Mary did. Mary did. And it, was it Danny? No. Who? Oh wait, the old American boys you went to high school with. Okay. I didn't go to high school. Wait, how did you know them? Just all American. But you guys lived on the block. I was, we were talking about old American in the chat yeah, earlier. That's so funny. Uh, sorry, so my godmother, I was close, dated an old American guy. But why does the name Danny ring? I have no idea what Danny is. I'm Danny. Who are the brothers from Old American? Bill. Bill. Like five of them. I think I think I'm right. Yeah. Well, we were talking about that. How it's uh, a staple. Oh my God! It's just ridiculous. Every time I go. Vanessa's wish there was music so you guys could dance again. That was terrific. We had a good time dancing. Also, Mom was on a stream when we went to the Strawberry Festival. So New York City and the Strawberry Festival. Kelsey Elizabeth's in the house. Hello, hello, hello. Rosita's back. Rosita, this is my mom, Mars. How do you feel about Israeli food? No. All right, just couscous. Just couscous. All right. Oh, this place looks nice. I like French food. Let's see. Have a roasted salmon. Yeah. Where? At the French? At the French bistro. It looks delicious. Where is it? A block away. I'm only searching places that are a block away. We're in Manhattan. Everything's a block away. What is this area called down here? Uh, 
Uh, right now we're in Soho. We're south of Houston. If we go up like five blocks, we're in NoHo, which is north of Houston. Yeah, that's what it stands for. If we go over about five blocks, we're in the Bowery. Uh, but also you're in the east or west village, depending on what side we're on. So you're in a lot of areas. Yeah. I mean, this place looks nice. Oh, I mean, oh, yeah, I mean, it's five o'clock, six o'clock now, but you're only a five-minute walk from the World Trade Center, from uh, the stock market, the canals over here. I mean, you're downtown. This is where the action's at. What? Downtown. Alright, all these places are the same price, but it's not cheap, but it's not like crazy expensive. You're gonna pay like 30 bucks for seven. Unless you get a burger. You want a burger somewhere? Alright. You wanna walk and just find one? All right, so we'll pay the tent here, we'll go get one. Yeah. Downtown. Well, we did a lot of research and now we know a lot about these places. What I'm thinking is, get the tab, why don't we walk up McDougal, get our name on the first show if we can from the Comedy Cellar. If we don't get in, we have plenty of time to eat. If we get in, then we still have time to grab something quick to go in, or we can order food there. Yeah, or we can go to the 8 o'clock show at the stand. I know three or four of the comics are going to like. The main comic, Ari Shafir, I like. He's a little dirty. They're a full restaurant. It depends what kind of mood he's in. Uh, yeah. It's a Thursday, so it could be tame, it could be wild. All right, we'll do that. My friends, when you're not busy, can I grab my check from you to get a chance? Yeah, that's fine. All right, here's who pays for dinner. Best of three, rock, paper, scissors. Round number one. Ready? Yeah. It's rock, paper, scissors, says shoot. Okay, so the three symbols. Rock, paper, scissors. Ready? Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors, says shoot. She got one. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors, says shoot. Oh, oh one and one. one. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, says shoot. Yeah! Yeah. Alright, I'm buying dinner. I mean, she's got to pay for the comedy show. I'm going to drink that. There's a whole bottle right there.
keep the camera rolling until we get there, and then we'll, we'll kill it over there. Here we go. Right, out of the ditch. Ooh, it smells good out here. The outdoor seating area. Remember we had to sit out here during our last live stream? Because that's, that's where I thought you were. No, for the pandemic, because we couldn't be inside. Yeah, Is this where you came out, right here? What? Is, oh. So I was like, here's the subway station. It's right no, there. We go down. left. I was like, Van, damn, it's taking her a long time to get here. I had to take two different subways. No, oh, it's C and E out of a... Uh... I took C and there only went two stops and then it ended. So I went across the way and took another one and next stop. All right. Yeah. Looks like because they both run out of Yeah, it just, it just happens to be the one I got. Bad luck. More people saying hello, hello, hello. Hi. We don't know where we're having dinner yet. Uh, Grumpy says, who's that beautiful woman to your left? That would be my mother. Yeah. Uh, Grumpy's trying to get you, Marge. Susan says, go, Marge. Grumpy says, that can't be your mom. It must be your younger sister. I love that person. Wow. I don't know if you're calling me older. I love it. What's going on here? It is, isn't it? Lola Taverna. Lola Taverna. We're going to cross over here. Because we're New Yorkers, we don't look at the street signs. We just go. Here's McDougal, which is perfect. We'll walk right up McDougal. Yep. So beautiful. This is one of the places I looked up. But you said no to Greek. It's Greek. I believe you said if it is olive oil, it's not for me. So pretty. I love the outside. So many more city bikes than I remember, but I love it. I said, I, honestly, this city should kind of turn into an Amsterdam. Cars make no sense here. Yeah. There's more and more seating areas and parks, and I love that. Yeah. Traffic's a nightmare. I get, I guess it's kind of essential, but I don't know. Like, when I went to Amsterdam, there's bike everywhere. Like, yeah. and Manhattan's not that big, and you have subways if you really have to go far. Right. Look at that reminds me of where we were last time. Yeah. That was where we had to eat last time on our live stream. Again, if you want to see a full live stream of me and mom, we did a New York City live stream together. Go check out the channel. If you haven't hit the like button yet, please hit the like button. If you're brand new, consider subscribing. We do a ton of travel stuff like this. We're here in the city today. Wanted to go live, show you around New York City. 
but we're going to be pumping out tons of travel content because we drove all the way up from Florida, New York to upstate New York to Long Island, to Pittsburgh, back to Long Island. And we're driving back to Florida with a ton of stops and we've been recording all of it. So if you're into travel stuff, please hit that subscribe button. Or if you're into theme parks, I am in the theme parks a lot and I will be back at Walt Disney World and all the theme parks, Universal, uh, SeaWorld, starting next week. So jump on in. Have some fun with us. We also have an amazing Discord. The link is down below. If you want to support the channel and you're able to, cannot have this channel without the generosity and appreciation from the Patreon. So thank you to all the Patreons. Patreon.com backslash Adventures by Carney. And if you want to follow live and see what's going on as we do it, the socials are the way to do it. My Instagram is at official Carney. My Twitter is at your WDW guy. And my TikTok is Adventures by Carney. Look, they're playing pickleball. Oh, I love pickleball. They have it now at Disney too. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, you should have pickleball with this CICTA. Yeah, right. This is great. Look at all these pickleball people. I want to jump in and play so bad. We played so much of the campground. Guess the only person I lost to. Brian, he's I good. Know. He's I great on his feet, that guy. He does. He's got all the moves. Yeah. All right. Let's just both play a game. What does this man do for a living? I can't. Come on. Quick. He's a, uh, Quick. He works with... Who was um, Whitney Houston's agent? <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. I actually know the real answer. I know who he is. Uh, Crayola employs one person for each color. <laughs> he is here representing Team Blue. He's representing Team Blue today? Yeah. This is nice. They did this little outdoor area with flowers. I said, like, they built all these because of the pandemic, but it's nice that they kept them. One, they get so much more square feet. So great. <laughs> for the price that you pay in New York City. This is another place you said no to, by the way. You said no to this place. I looked this place up. There was two. The first one with the flowers, and this one was my number two. The Mermaid Oyster Bar. Yeah. Watch now. Careful now. We'll find out. <laughs> Dawn said that guy looked like a lounge singer. That is true. He does look like he could be yeah, a lounge singer or like works like the late night at a cruise ship. Like, so I hope you guys came out. Uh, let's do a little more Frank Sinatra. I love it. Yeah, this is so this is like the famous row. This is where we're actually going to approach the comedy store right here. The Mince Masala Indian. This is one of my favorite strips in all of New York City because as a comedy fan, this is where you go. This is where the magic happens. What? No. But I performed here. Remember I performed here? No, I was never. I wasn't here. I performed here. No, you I, uh, told me, but I didn't know. One of my best sets is actually recorded. Uh, Vino, BFR, we had like oh, wow, 20 people. So just very, very small room. Yeah. Same people that own uh, the Broadway Comedy Club where I won the contest, Best New Comic. Yeah. So it's a tiny room down here. Wow. And I performed here in literally one of my best sets ever. Crushed it. And, and where's the tape effect? Uh, somebody has it. Oh, that's right. I can't believe I just walked past this. Yeah, this is a... Uh, I thought I was going to bomb, yeah. and the guy before me was just, he went for very offensive comedy, Yeah. so I did just, I just had from some fun with that when he was done with his set, I was like, well, he stole my act, so oh now, you know, God. like, <laughs> you it around. yeah, and I just had some fun with it. Wow. Grizzly Pear, another iconic comedy club, wow. right over here. So, is yep. this the whole, whole This is like comedy district we're walking into, that's why I said this is like so much, like Grizzly Pear right here. This was featured a lot in uh, 
crushing, crushing. If you just hang out here, you'll just run into comics. There's comics everywhere. Off the wagon, another great bar. We used to hang out here a lot. Artichoke Pizza, where they go to get pizza. A lot of comics. Cafe, what? Uh, we also hung out with all the time. McDougal Street Ale House across the street we used to go into. Well, McDougal Street. We're on McDougal. Um, so I'll show you some other, like, secret spots, right? Players. Players Theater. So this is, like, the home of New York City County right here. Olive Tree Cafe. We can eat here. Is that, is that the DJ? That's the DJI? Yeah. Which one is that? Which one is the six? Uh, no, this is the four or the five. Uh, I have both. I think it's the five. This is, uh, I like this one because if I'm, like, talking to somebody, I can extend it and pop it down. It'll stay with me. So if I sit this down, I can just do whatever I want. Whatever like that. And I like it. It'll still gimbal. That's Brian right there. Everyone knows Comedy Brian seller, from the Comedy Olive Tree. Seller. No doubt. We're going to Comedy Cellar tonight. We're probably going to go eat at the Olive Tree Cafe beforehand. It's my mom, by the way, Brian. Hi, mom. How are you doing? And best if you guys Comedy don't Club know, best comedy club in the world right here. Almost performed there. I performed in every other place but here when I won 2018's Best New Comic. And then I moved away like an idiot. But this is the spot. This is where everybody goes. One day, one day, one day. Um, do you want to... Uh, is there a list for tonight? I know, I know the shows are sold out. Yeah, can I get on the standby? Is going to be around the corner. The guy's going to be around the corner. Take it in a minute. Okay. All right. Okay, cool. Uh, we have some dinner at the Olive Tree in the meantime? Yeah. I'll, I'll go around the corner. In a minute? I'll go around the corner like at 7, 6, 6.30 when I start taking names. All right, so I'll, I'll see that guy in five minutes. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, anyway, you know the man. It's Brian right here. Good to see you, brother. Nice and the you. most iconic comedy club in the world right here. It's a make or break spot. All right, let's go. How do we go? Oh, no, we got to go. We're, no, we're going to go up to Olive Tree. Oh, let's go in here. All right, so this spot, I'll tell you why it's special, Mom. Uh, booth? Can we do like a booth over there? Yeah, Alright, I'm going to give you a little secret. I don't like telling people this. But since there's only like 20 something people here, and if you made it to the end of the video to rewatch the whole thing, if you're ever in New York City, you want to go to the Comedy Cellar. It is the best comedy club in New York City. Every single show is like at least five headliners that go out on tour and demand hundred dollar tickets each. Is they all hang out at the Olive Tree Cafe, which is where Lauren, my mom and I are about to have dinner. Uh, so they all hang out there. That's the table. That's where they hang before and after sets. So if you want to see all the comics, just to see them hanging out, having a good time, all your favorites, you know, Dave Attell, Whitney Cummings, Dave Chappelle, uh, Seinfeld, everybody, literally, G Gaffigan, uh, Sam Morrill, um, Everyone, TJ Miller, I've run into everybody here. That's the spot, Olive Tree Cafe. So I'm gonna shut it down now. Thank you so much for watching. Again, go check out all the socials, all the links that are listed down below, those that are here in the chat. Thank you for hanging out with me all day. We had a super long stream. Uh, we got close to 100. Hit that like button. If you still haven't hit the like button, it really helps. And thank you for supporting the channel. A lot of content coming your way. Please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, and turn on all notifications because I'm gonna be dropping videos and I don't want you to miss any of them. I'll see you real soon. I love you guys. And take care of one another. Be kind. See you later.